That's Ox. Oh, okay, big ox in the house. All right, bet. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah. Oh man, we don't really even gotta <laughs> play around. We don't need no introductions. We know exactly what we're talking about today. It, it was a beatdown. No. It was a good comeback, but not a, well, mm-hmm. was so you guys wouldn't classify that as a beatdown. In no. the first half, it was a beatdown. That's fair. It was be done. They went up by 20 at one point. Mm-hmm. 22. I'm going to let everybody else go before I go because yeah. I'm going to roll with some tether, So I'm going to let everybody mm-hmm. else go. What's good, mm-hmm. Ox? What's up? Big Ox in the house. What up? What's up? What's up? I, I, think, the, uh, I think the rebound disparity, uh, you know, the separation of rebounds might might classify it as a beat down just physically. But I, I wouldn't call the whole game a beat down. I mean, Anthony Davis, when, you know, he went off. He held it down. Yeah, he went out there and performed. I mean, I can't call it a beatdown because the rebound disparity. I mean, I get it. The rebound disparity was nasty, but that's what happens when you got a coach that's running a three guard lineup and they got Aaron Gordon. They got Aaron Gordon. They got Jokic and they got M- MPJ out there. I will say this though: before I say anything, before I before I start throwing blame, point fingers, anything, I am going to I'm going to sit up here. I'm going to look at these people. And I'm going to sit there and give praise to Darvin Ham because he, even though Ooh. it was late, in my opinion, even though he did it a little bit late, that man sat there in that fourth quarter and said, you know what? This isn't working. Let me make an in-game mid-adjustment. And we started to have a comeback. So I give him credit. He is a reformed terrorist as of right now in this series. I give him his praise. He definitely did the one thing, the main thing I question him about. Are we, are lineup we, management and – I'm we, bringing it back a little bit. This, well, this that's what I'm saying. Are, are we lower? We 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 what you call? He's he, he's still on indictment, but are we just lowering the charge? I'm lowering it a little off bit. Of, off of one good it. move. One so, good so, move. So, so, we're, we're, we're lowering listen, the charge. No, 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 no. One good move, and now he's on a terrorist no more. I seen. Right? Listen, I seen him make a plethora of mistakes. It, it's about how you rebound from that. Hey, we had this conversation. You can start the fire. I'm not going to give you too much credit for putting out the fire. You started, but goddamn, you just stop the fire. Nah, this, 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 no, 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 that's that's mad no, premature, bro. That's that's so premature. Uh, it's yeah, not premature. Can't. No, yeah, it's not even that. Yeah, I mean, see, listen, 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 listen. Bro. Ox, all I'm saying, Ox, all, all I'm saying, Ox, I am the biggest perform. I am the biggest hater when it comes to Darvin Ham. I sit on this uh, platform all the time, and anytime there's an issue, the first person I look at is our head coach. Now, again, yeah. it is questionable running the three guard line, and I understand our our roster isn't basically big to have. Uh, built to have too many big lineups, but we still have lineups we can go to to play big, which we did, and we started to come back. But it still was times out there where we have Schroeder, Reeves, and uh, D'Lo in there. We still got – we have Austin Reeves and Lonnie Walker really trying to face guard MPJ. MPJ just standing up over him. Like, look, it, it's still look, questionable man, look, that was made, first but, all, but first all, he did what he was supposed to do. He made a big game adjustment. I gave him that. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead, take it. Go ahead, take it. No, come on, man. First of all, y'all started what off. Saying, come on, fool. First of all, y'all started up the show, Rob. Rose. Now, let me get right to the point, right? Um, first of all, y'all wrong about AD. AD's performance was horrible. Why? No, because it was not. Oh, no, it was not. You're not gonna let me finish my sentence? Go ahead. Let me finish my sentence. My fault. My fault. Can I not? Y'all get mad at me when I cut y'all off. You know, my fault. My fault. Take it. Keep going. Performance was horrible because when the balance of the game, which was the beginning of the game, if you listen to Darvin Ham after the game. Mm-hmm. The beginning of the game is where the game was lost. AD, who's supposed to be a great defensive player, got dominated not only defensively but on the boards. The man had zero rebounds in the first quarter. Jokic, his man, had 12. That was the game right there. Jokic controlled the game from the very beginning of the game and was torching AD. So all of the points AD scored was meaningless because by that time, Jokic had already had a double-double by the end of the first quarter. So his defense was horrific. It was him getting barbecued. It was him not post or not uh boxing out big Jokic. Jokic was grabbing all the rebounds and that controlled the game. It was one possession where they got six offensive rebounds in the same possession and then finally scored. Fair. That's on AD because normally when AD's rolling in the playoffs, he's giving you 15 to 20 rebounds, not 10. AD had two rebounds through the first three quarters of the game. That's not going to work. That's not going to work and win you a game. So when you guys always come in here, now, when I say AD only had 14 or 15 points and Damo praises AD's defense and the other side of the ball, his shit was trash last night. So let's be honest. Yeah, he scored the points, so it looked pretty, but his real game was trash because he got torched by his man. 
His man on defense. And by the way, if you don't win, if you don't rebound, you don't win championships. And you know this rule, Jill Town. And and Joke is single-handedly out rebounded the entire Lakers team in the first half of that game. That is unacceptable. That is on AD because I have video of where he's not even boxing out Jokic. And Jokic just reaching over and grabbing rebounds. You can't do that. And you can't let a team beat you like that. That is where the game was lost. In that first quarter, in the first half of the game, that's where the game was lost. The Lakers made a great run in the second half, but I'm more concerned about 80s defense, which is why Darvin Ham had to switch up and go to Roy Hachimura and change that strategy up because AD defensively, not only could he not contain Jokic, who was spinning off of him, getting dunks, going by him, dunking on him, but he was also rebounding at a high rate. Now, if you look at the uh, low drop me a, a, a thing after the game last night, and it shows something very significant. He torched AD. He was 10 of 13 from the field when being directly guarded by AD last night. That is torch. And he was grabbing all the rebounds. When he was guarded by Roy Hachimura, he didn't score one bucket. So Darvin Ham, Gamo is right when he said Ham made a good adjustment. But Ham did what he was supposed to do as far as putting AD on Jokic to start because that's the matchup. Then when he seen it wasn't working, he had to switch up, which he did. And let's tell the truth. The Lakers had a chance to win the game. And yo King Chill Town, LeBron Ramon James, who had made three good plays before that, behind the back pass to uh to old boy Austin Reese for the three ball, two three balls in a row to cut the lead. Then he comes down with a lot of time on the clock, shoots an ill-advised three that they didn't even need to shoot at that time. He could have gotten something better than that because he normally would get something better than that. I've seen him do it in his playoffs where he's gotten good passes to Schroeder or somebody else, or he created a better opportunity for himself. And he came down the next possession. Turned the ball over, got stripped, turned the ball over, and came out of the next position and shot an air ball three. That's the game. So if we're going to tell the truth, AD really had a – because if y'all come out here and say he had a great game, that's bullshit because y'all praise his defense, and his defense got torched. And it's not just because the points, but it's everything well, else that he's done. He had a great game. I'm talking about you, I'm talking about you, Bob. 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 I'm saying with the key with Jokic, and Lowe says this all the time, it ain't just the points he scored, but the points he accounted for. Like Elder told me last night, he maxed out on everything. Points, 34. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He win. Can't win like that. Can't win like that. If AD does not play, if AD does not match him rebounding wise and defensively, they're going to lose this series. And I'm telling you right now, you cannot allow Jokic to do what he did last night. Forget the point. I'm talking about the rebounds and the assists. That means everybody else is getting involved. Go ahead, y'all. Who wants to so, chill, Damo? Okay, so ahead, okay, so 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 let's start the conversation, Damo. You started the conversation with, with going slow. I mean, going small. In theory, it actually is a good idea. I know you don't like starting Schroeder. In theory, it's a good idea. The reason why it's a good idea is because what we want to do is we want to slow up their transition game. That's how they get a lot of their action in transition. So what we want to do is we want the pickup point to be earlier, and we want it to be often. Think what happened in 2021 with Phoenix in, in um, Milwaukee, where they made an adjustment in game three, where Drew Holiday started the pickup point at the basically like the 80-foot line. So he's slowing, he's slowing up their transition game. And now they're getting in their offense later in the shot clock. The problem is, is that it wasn't slowing up their transition game because Joker was running and they were getting the ball ahead. So now when you're getting shots, he was outrunning Anthony Davis. When you're getting shots, so you got Anthony Davis, you got MPJ, you got Gordon, and you got KCP underneath the basket all rebounding. That's where the problem lies. Now, what the adjustment was, was the what the adjustment was was one, getting Vando back in the lineup, and then two, getting Hachimura back in the lineup. So when you talk about Anthony Davis, when you talk about Anthony Davis getting dominated, just so you know, Joker had five rebounds in the second half of the game. Five. That's it. No, but no, no, you're not. But I'm Tintin, hold on, hold on. Respectfully, I'm chill, respectfully, chill. Your brother. Your brother. Chill your brother. Chill your brother. Chill your brother. Hold on. I got one question for y'all, though. Hold on. Add your brother respectfully. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But he's not, he's, hold on. This is where he's wrong, though. Because respectfully, the game was won in the first half because if the Lakers would have been able just to keep on an even playing field, an even keel, and not get down by so many points early, you don't have to fight out of that hole to try to get the game late. You outplayed them in the whole second half of the game. But that first quarter, like Darvin Ham said after the game, they did not set the tone defensively. They did not come with force. They did not play like they wanted to win that game coming out the blocks last night. They got started too late, and that was the balance of the game. So even if 80 had 40 points, even if he had 10 rebounds, guess what? It didn't matter because when you needed him to get started early in the game defensively on the boards, guess what? 
by the third quarter, the man had two rebounds by the third quarter. Jokic already had 17. That's the game. Forget the scoring. That's the game. So when you get eight rebounds in the fourth quarter, that don't mean nothing because you've already been down 20 points. You need to bring that early in the game. You can't let Denver get a lead at home and then play with the play from a leading position at home because they're at home. That's what happened last night. That's all I'm saying, brother. Respectful. Cool. Go ahead, Jim. So as, as I was saying, as I was saying, what was my train of thought? So if I if I remember correctly, we're talking about um, damn. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought, guys. We were talking about Joker, um, we and Anthony small Davis. Ball, right. Up. Okay. So we're, we're talking. We're, 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 we're talking about. We're talking about joke. We're talking about Joker outrunning. We're talking about Joker outrunning Anthony Davis. And you got MPJ. You got KCP. You got Gordon. And you got Joker underneath rebounding. Right. So. They made an adjustment. They went with Vando. They went with um. They went with Rui in the second half, and Rui opened up the offense. And now Anthony Davis, when he is switched on to when he is switched on to Joker, they did start to slow him down in the second half. He had, he had Joker had five rebounds in the second half. Not only did he have five rebounds in the second half, Anthony Davis out rebounded him in the second half total. And we have a one possession game with two minutes on the clock. So the logic that the game started early and you had to dig yourself back in, well, they did do that because that's what the NBA is. The NBA is a game of runs, and they got themselves back in the game. We got a one possession game with two minutes left on with two minutes left on the clock. With that being said, we also had a problem defensively. You do not have to dig, you do not have to double. When you got Anthony Davis covering Joker, let him deal with him one on one. There's no reason for Austin Reeves. There's no reason for Lonnie Walker to come down there and dig. Let him deal with him because on the other end, he's gonna make him work. That's number two. Be cooked, children. Even if, if even if, and, and even if he's getting, even if he's he getting, getting, who cares? And, not, and, I don't, and, and he, even if he's getting cooked, he's doing that also. Because I've seen many times where he's got where Anthony Davis has gotten shots and, and Joker drops his arms in discouragement. And the reason why is because I got to deal with him too offensively, especially when the game slows down. That's number two. Number three, I thought that the Lakers, I thought that the Lakers could have done a better job in just. And, and, and getting more action off the basketball. The problem that we had with Joker, the problem that we had with Joker and Anthony Davis is Joker is like Joe Montana. He's like tr- Tom Brady, if I'm if I'm using a football analogy. If you let him just stand in the pocket and throw the football, he's going to destroy you. So if Joker is standing there with all of that action going on off the basketball and there's no ball pressure on him, he's basically looking over the top and he's getting whatever he wants. The Lakers' off-ball defense was terrible. Something simple, something simple as just swinging your head and getting in the passing lane, they couldn't do that. And that was a lot what what went on in the first half. In the second half, they made adjustments to that. They rebounded better. Not only did they rebound better, the pickup point was sooner. They had they did a better job on the they did a better job on pick and rolls because in the first three quarters, we're talking about a we're talking about a Denver team that got whatever they wanted, whenever they wanted. They shot 57% from the floor the first three quarters and 50%, 50% from the long ball line. Just so you know, Joker in the fourth quarter, zero points and two rebounds. That's I'm it. with you. I'm not That's against it. you on that, my brother. All I'm saying to you is with Darvin. All I'm saying to you is with Darvin Ham and every other pro basketball coach. No, when you in the playoffs on the road, you do not want to be playing from that many points down. You don't want to be talking about we got to fight to get back in the game, bro. They were down 20 points late in the third quarter. You don't want to be in that position on the road. No, on the road, you no, on the road because no, if the Lakers, no, if the Lakers weren't. don't, yes, they with were down minutes, 20. Minutes, they minutes, the third, bro. I'm watching the game. In the third quarter, my man, my man, my man, four. kill town, kill they town. Down I have to point, to hit that three to pull Chill, 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 You my boy, chill, chill. You're my boy. I got the screenshot when Jamal Murray hit the three. They were down 20 late in the third. Jamal Murray came down and hit the three. They were down 20. The and Lakers made a hell of a fine run, bro. I'm not yes, lying to you. Only yes, thing I'm saying to you is this. I'm not disagreeing with nothing you said about the second half. But I'm saying when you're in the playoffs, on the road, I don't care if you're playing, whatever team you're playing. If I'm in L.A. playing the Lakers, I don't want to get down 20 and then have to fight to get back in the game and talk about, oh, it was a one-possession game. That's why LeBron said after the game, it doesn't matter that we got back one possession. We got our ass whooped. Because we didn't come out early like we were supposed to. That's what Joe King said after the game. He said exactly what I'm saying. So what I'm saying to you is, sir, if the Los Angeles Lakers match that energy, if AD was boxing out and doing his job and keeping Joker off the boards, the Lakers would have probably won this game going away. But since you allowed them to control the boards, and I told you, it was one possession. They had six offensive rebounds in the same possession. That's when I knew the Lakers were going to lose the game. 
Because if you're giving up six offensive rebounds and Denver's continue to get an offensive rebounds missing and continue and then they finally score, that lets me know that the effort is not there at that time. So you can't come up, Johnny, come late on the road. At home, that might work because you got your home crowd working with you. They're going to give you energy get back in the game. But on the road in a place like Denver, you have to play them even keel early or you have to jump on the ass early in the game. Therefore, when it's late in the game, when you know the crowd is going to be in the game, and that's how they won the game last night too because the crowd was kind of pushing them a little bit. And then Aaron Gordon, they get the steal. Aaron Gordon gets the alley Get basically game over from there. So what I'm saying, all I'm saying to you is, dog, the AD defensively has to match Jokic early in the game. And I'm not saying that, okay, maybe next game Roy's guarding him. But I'm saying, okay, well, guess what? Now you got to be on the boards because – Regardless of what you said, you can't take away that that man had two rebounds late in the third quarter in the whole game. So I don't care what you did in the fourth quarter if you lost the game because this man had 16 to two rebounds. If I'm a coach and I'm looking at my player like I'm saying, you, we're getting murdered on the boards because you ain't doing your job. That's your guy. Well, he came out and did his job. So he came out huh? the second half and did his job. He came no, out no, the second no, half. No, no, half no. But they, but they lost. They didn't do their job. They lost. They lost the game. They like, lost the game. In the first half, he we lost the game in the first half. Absolutely true. He adjusted. He said, okay, I need to make an emphasis on getting on the boards and keeping him off the board. And, and, and he did, did that. that. You and sitting he here, that. and this is and ticket, this is my issue with you. You sitting here giving this kind of energy to AD, but you sat there and kept a cape on that damn caping for James Harden, you did, and blamed everybody else. No, oh, James Harden. I'm saying- no, 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 no. Let me finish. Let me finish. You sat there. Oh, James Harden played bad, but you got him beat. You, you got Maxi, you, you got Harris, you got Who's him. Who's the No, no, let me finish. So I'm going to sit here, I'm going to look you in this camera, and I'm going to sit here and say, oh, man, AD still finished with 40 and 10. AD still did what you were supposed to do. He sat. I don't know who you think is going to sit here and actually lock up Jokic. No one said he was going to lock up Nobody said Jokic. that. No, Nobody no said that. Said, okay, so I don't know why you're sitting here saying, oh, my God. Okay, I'm Jokic sitting here saying it once again. Once again. No, no, no again. let me finish. Let me know. finish. Let me finish. I don't care what you got to say. Let me finish. I'm not getting interrupted. Go I ahead. sat there and watched that game. Anthony Davis sat there, and he was getting work. He was getting work by Jokic, and he also worked them right back. And when they made the adjustment and said, you know what, maybe just having this one-on-one matchup isn't indicative to us winning the basketball game. Let's take him off because we don't have to have this matchup, and we're going to have him roam. Now, everyone can sit there and say, oh, it's a cop-out to have him roam because he can't guard Jokic. Jokic can't guard him. AD finished with freaking 40 points. Yes, he did. I don't know on what planet we live on where you look at a guy go 40-10, still play good defense in totality. He might not have locked up the dude that should have been a three-time MVP, but he still played good defense in totality. We go from a 20-point lead into a one-possession game, basically, and if LeBron doesn't take a three, we're having a different conversation about AD. I'm not well, going to sit here. Let me, no, 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 no. Let me finish. You talk for 10 minutes. Let me finish. I didn't talk for 10 minutes. Let, let me finish. There's no way I'm going to sit up here and not give my spiel and let you sit here and really try to talk about AD like he went up there and played like Joel and B. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. I said, James Harden lost you sat up here a cake for So don't give me that. You, didn't go hard on James Harden. you did not go hard on James Harden. You sat there a cake for So I don't want to hear that. Don't pick and choose when you go hard on people. Who's the, the best player on the Lakers? Like I don't want to hear it. Who's the I best player on the Lakers? And Who's the best player on the Lakers? It might be LeBron in your opinion. No, 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 no. You've been praising AD the whole season. Anyway, You've been praising AD anyway, the whole anyway, time. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'm going to get my. I'm going to get my piece off. Let me finish. If we, if you look at what the uh, Nuggets did, they had a phenomenal game. Bruce Brown stepped the hell up. Bruce Brown was out there cooking. They had six guys scoring double figures. We sat there and was cooked. Trying to double uh Jokic and every single guy sitting here hitting threes, crazy threes. We sat there and took the we took their best shot. Looking at that game, I don't think the Nuggets as a team, they don't have a game like that again. Well, Jokic put your money on Jokic might have another crazy. Put your game. money where your mouth is. Take it. Let me finish. I was quiet when you were talking. Let me finish. Jokic might have a crazy game. You might get a 50-point game from um Jamal Murray. You might get a, a crazy 30-point, 40-point game from MPJ. But all those guys doing that, I guarantee you that's not going to happen again. Lakers okay, well, sick, we took, let me finish. We took their best shot on the chin, and we still lost the game by, what, six? We were down 20, battle back. I'm not sitting here trying to praise losing. 
Bro, we lost. We played pitiful in the first half. It was it was an abomination how we came up there and played. We gave up so much. We, we gave up so much. Open three, trying to double Jokic. The only game plan should be have Rui guard him and have AD Rome or just let AD take that matchup one-on-one because neither one of them are going to stop him. I looked in the finals when LeBron matched up with Kevin Durant, and it wasn't no double Kevin Durant get the ball in his hands. It was if he's going to give you 30, you give him 30 back. Y'all cancel each other out. That's what this okay. is going to happen. What, this, this, this is the reason why. That's what this matchup is going to look like. Okay, now let me cook you. Now let me cook your ass three the hard way because now I'm finna deep fry your sorry ass. Now, first of all, this is why you'll never be. This is why you. This is why you'll never be a basketball aficionado because you don't understand understand the game of basketball, son. And let me cook it to you three the hard way first. First of all, you talk about James Harden and Joel Embiid. Who's the best player in the league or supposed to have been? Joel Embiid. Who's the best player on that team? Joel Embiid. James Harden got you two, so we didn't even think he was going to get you two. But I, I was the one. Hold on. Hold on. I was the one gave you a virtuoso. So when we're talking about the MVP of the NBA coming up small, yes, I'm going to put a majority of the blame on him because he's the MVP and James Harden ain't. Now, back to your point right now. You guys praise AD and said he's the best player on the team. So, to whom there is much given, there is much required, sir. So, again, let's get back to this. Let's get back to this logic with AD. Oh, he played a great game. No, he did. So, first of all, again, I told you about his points just last week. Ron can cue the tape. When he had 13 points, you said it don't matter what he scored because AD is always there defensively, and he's a great defender, and that's the part of his game we need to look at. Well, sir, last night, I can tell you once again, I know your ass don't break down film, and I know you never watch film because I do. I've been there for years. You can't tell me what I know about the game. Secondly, AD was not boxing out, and I'm going to repeat to you again. I don't care what you or Trail Town say. You can't get around him having two rebounds through the third quarter. I don't we care if you, I don't care if you lost by one. Hold on. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't care if you lost by one or 100. You lost the game because of that. Yeah, what was the re- Hold on, let me say it again. What was the rebounding discrepancy? The great Pat Riley said, no rebounds, no championships. No rebounds, no championships. You were giving AD a pass because he scored 40, but what he was supposed to be most importantly needed, he wasn't when he was needed, when the game started. When you're on the road, I'm going to say it again, in a hostile environment like Denver, you have to take it to a team early because you don't want – to use so much energy, you're in high altitude, you're getting down late in the game, and that is the reason why you get a shot like that from LeBron James, because you're winded, hold on, you're winded coming down the stretch, because you observed so much energy to come back in that game, because you didn't do what you were supposed to do early in the game. All I'm saying to you is this, yes, AD scored 40, but here is the problem that you, nor Chilltown, acknowledge. AD scored his finesse 40, which ain't going to work against Jokic. When Jokic is guarding you, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me explain what I'm saying so you know what I'm talking about. When the Lakers beat, when the Lakers beat the Nuggets in the bubble, go back and watch that series. It was because they attacked Jokic's chest. They took fouls on Jokic and he got in foul trouble and his ass was on the bench early and couldn't get into a rhythm. Yes, it's nice if AD's shooting Jays, hitting jump shots, or throwing up little floaters in the lane. But what AD should be doing is facing up, off the dribble, straight to the basket, in Jokic's chest to try to pick up two early fouls, eliminate him from the game early. Therefore, the Lakers are playing from a position of power. But you wouldn't know nothing about that because you don't know basketball. Now, let me finish up my last point. My last point is this. Again, and that, hold on, hold on, and that, going, and hold on, and again, going, the, put no pressure on Jokic to play defense, not in a pick and roll or not in a post up situation. Jokic did not have to play no defense last night, so AD could get forty. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was Jokic even in a threat to be in foul trouble? No. You know why? Because they weren't attacking Jokic. When you got a guy like Jokic, who's such a poor defender, who doesn't move his feet well, you should attack him defensively. Hold on, sir. Hold on. You should attack him. Let me finish, sir. You should attack his chest in order to try to – excuse me, sir. Let me finish. You should attack his chest in order to try to get him in foul trouble. That is what the Lakers did in the bubble with Dwight. With AD and with the rest of the crew, JaVale McGee, they attacked his chest, frustrated him because he doesn't like that physical basketball in the post. I'm not saying AD didn't score 40 yet, but he scored 40 and lost the game. So guess what? You got to know when to hold him and when to fold him, baby. The bottom line is this. If eight, I will put your money, you, since you talking all this shit, 
Put your money. We can bet a thousand dollars. Or a ticket. Hold on. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to Low Junior over here. I'm talking to Low Junior. We can bet a thousand dollars on this series. You know what I mean? Thousand dollars on the series, and I guarantee you, if the Lakers continue to get beat on the boards, they will lose this series. No one's disagreeing with that. Everyone here, I think, would agree rebounds are important. No one is saying rebounds are important. I will put up a thousand dollars for Lakers and Lakers beating the Nuggets. I have no fear in doing oh, that. Is, okay, I don't okay, Ron. That's the fist, Ron. That's the fist, Ron. That's the fist. Like a thousand dollars is not a problem. But okay, okay cool. that's official. That's official. We got a bet. We got a wait, 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 wait. So before we move on, because I gotta hear Mars, Bob, and Elder speak. <clears throat> what is the bet? That are we just betting who wins the series? Lakers Nuggets? Yeah, I'm betting a thousand. I'm betting a thousand Denver win the series. That's how the nigga put his money where his mouth is. Bet. Don't disappear. Listen, I ain't gonna disappear. I'm here every day. I want my money on time. In, in, I'm in, here every when, day. When, 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 must the, when must the money be paid? By the by game one of the finals? At the end of the game. At the end of the game, who at the whoever eliminate, I don't care if it's in four, five, six game, send that bread, nigga. All right. Okay, I, I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know about the end of the game. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, by by the start of by the start of game one of the finals, money must be paid by the start of game one of the finals. All right, uh, Mars. I, I would I would love to hear your take on this game, and and I think you have an agenda that you really can push because you try to tell everybody. What about your kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, I was watching this game through um with blurry vision. My, I was crying because of the draft lottery. So um, oh. I, I we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll uh, get there. I, I didn't. I didn't get to see it very clearly. But um, eat it, Mars. Eat it. <laughs> eat it, Mars. Hold you to Spurs. Eat it. Um, yeah, I didn't know the NBA would blatantly rig things like that, but it's fine. Um, but regarding the game, I think it was a great game. I just enjoyed watching the game. It lifted my spirits a little bit. Um, I. I like that. Da I think Darvin Ham wanted to save the Rui adjustment for game two, but I think because he saw that his team had a chance to steal game one, he went to it earlier than anticipated. I think he was going to just let game one play out and then make the switch for game two. But if you have a chance to win the game and that is the adjustment to make to try and win the game, I think that's why he made it earlier than expected. Um, I like the way Denver's offense was running in the first three quarters. I do believe that... Um, they have the main success with the dribble handoffs because um, Anthony Davis, when he was guarding Jokic, is so obsessed with not leaving Jokic's body. And their guards are going under screen so that Anthony Davis doesn't have to leave Jokic's body. You're giving up wide open shots for elite elite shooters. That's why I think the Anthony Davis adjustment with Aaron Gordon was so key. But I think, um, I think based on that adjustment, I think the Lakers are confident going into game two. I think Michael Malone has to recognize that and position Aaron Gordon either. He has to become a screener so, so Anthony Davis is away from the rim and you can get Jokic post-up opportunities in that way. Or you space Aaron Gordon to the corner instead of in the dunker spot so that he, be he, be he can become someone who either makes that corner free or he's someone who you run with dribble handoff action in that situation where it's one defender trying to guard the dribble handoff where if you come off that screen, it's a wide open shot functionally. The same way Golden State will use Draymond Green or Jared Vanderbilt even does it as well sometimes. I think that's the adjustment Denver need to make to make sure Anthony Davis can't just roam as freely as as freely as he was in the fourth quarter. Um, KCP had a hell of a game defensively and offensively. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. was making threes. He had a few good defensive possessions. But um, like I said, I think this series is going to be a chess match. Darvin Ham showed one of his hands early on in this it's, earlier in the series than I expected. But now we have to see how Michael Malone is going to adjust to that. And then we're going to see what else Darvin Ham has, has up his sleeve. I think Darvin Ham coached a very good game. I, I don't know why he was being criticized, in my opinion. Um, the Dennis Schroeder thing, I think it made sense. I don't think he needs to go with three guards. I think he has to start Austin Reeves and Dennis Schroeder in the next game. Rui has to start, in why, my opinion. Why did, why did it make sense, though, Mars? Yeah. Um, because I, th I think if you want to play, because Denver play fast, if you want to play fast too, I think you have to have three guards on the floor. Um, I think I don't think he anticipated the rebounding issues that he ended up having. A lot of those rebounds, it comes from the fact that if Anthony Davis goes to contest the shot, he can't also turn and grab a rebound as freely as you would like him to. So you have to rebound by committee. You have to have LeBron coming in and crashing. You have to have Austin Reeves coming and crash. You have to have Dennis Schroeder coming and crash. And they just did a poor, poor job of making contact with bodies and going to actually secure the ball. And that's how a lot of those rebounds came up. Also, Jokic is just bigger than everyone, which is why I think now Rui is going to start in game two. 
But um, other than that, I think game two is going to be very interesting to see how Michael Malone approaches the Aaron Gordon situation in terms of where he's going to have him position on the floor. But I haven't changed my pick for the series based on this one game that seems to happen a lot where whichever team wins game one, all of a sudden they're going to mop the other team because it's so obvious. And then it turns out that's never really the case. So I think we need to calm down, not overreact to one game of a series. <clears throat> and we'll just watch how the series unfolds. Absolutely. We, we kind of alluded to that in the group chat too. Me and Mars were the, the two people in there like, yo, relax. It's, it's going to be a second half of basketball to be played in possibly six more games. Let's let's not overreact, even though the Nuggets did come out and go crazy. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about, though, Chill, I'd like to hear from you. Why was they just running them out the gym like that in the first half? The reason Especially with, were, when the Lakers had a three-guard lineup. The reason why they were running them out the gym is because of the, their ability to rebound. That was the difference in the game. They, that sped the game up more than anything. And not only did that speed the game up, when you get into that half-court set with both pick with Jamal Murray and um, Joker – the problem that we have in is Joker isn't one of those pick and pop guys where he's just diving to the basket. The difference with Joker is if you pick him, if you pick and roll with Joe, if you're going to chase Jamal Murray off that screen, it has to be a hard hedge and get right back to Joker. Because once you get Joker to the basketball at 17 feet or you get Joker to the basketball at 15 feet, you got to pick your poison because he can either, he can either knock that down or now he becomes a playmaker who's going to the basket and beating up on big guys. That's number that's number two. And he's also looking at guys like MPJ getting wide open shots. So the problem, the biggest problem I thought that they had was on the backboard. And the second problem that, that, that I had was that pick and pop action, that pick and roll action between Jamal Murray and Joker. That action has to change. Can I respond to that? Go, go ahead. To what Chill you, said? You, you got it. I don't, I disagree with the one part about the, um, the uh, coming out on those screens, hedging and recovering. You can't do that with Jokic. That's exactly what Denver wants. They want you to try that because Jokic is such a good passer. He's going to eat you alive when he has you on the down like that. When you're trying to get back to him and get into his body or get back into his passing lane, he's going to eat you up. That's what they want. That's why I believe the Lakers were so afraid to not let AD get off his body. Those guys have to stay glued to those guards. Now, the adjustment to me will come when – they realized that uh, Aaron Gordon, you can't play him a lot like this. You can't because he only got three rebounds. So he's not rebounding. He, he got 12 points, but they were pretty much all garbage points. You know what I'm saying? Like um, what, Elder? You said can't play Aaron Gordon like this. Like you what? Have to what do put, you mean? I think what's going to have to happen, you got to give Jeff Green more minutes. That's the only true way to pull AD away from the basket. Trying to do it with Aaron Gordon in the pick and roll, that's not okay. going to work. Because so you, right. you can hedge and recover with Aaron Gordon because he's no threat on his passing game. No threat. He's no threat shooting the ball, really. All his threat is is getting to the basket. So you can flash out on those guards, make them pick it up, and get back on Aaron Gordon. And you got another guy back there who will be LeBron or whoever else stopping that alley-oop. So it's much easier to do that with Aaron Gordon. You can't do that with Jokic because once you try to recover, he's diamond to the guy you just left off of. Or he's diamond to the guy that you're cheating off of. You can't do it with Jokic. They're going to have to play Jeff Green more, in my personal opinion. He's the only thing that's going to stretch AD away from that basket because he can hit those corner threes. Quick, quick question for you, Elder. So, what, what you what you just mentioned about hedging? So, wouldn't communication be the most important thing? So, for example, if I got Joker and I got Jamal Murray playing pick and roll, and I got Anthony Davis, if he's hedging hard, so the guy right in the middle, the guy right in the middle, which would be James right there. So, wouldn't James communicate with him to he to 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 communicate with AD? AD, I got Jay. AD, I got Joker. And then once he gets back to him, just to hold him up. Just to get back, just to get back to him, and then these guys rotate off the weak side. When I mean rotate, I mean guys like I mean guys like um, Austin Reeves. He rotates off the weak side to get back to his man, just to hold Joker up, just to hold Joker oh. up a second, just so he, <clears throat> just so Anthony Davis can get back to him. That's where the Joker, communication comes in. Communication is great. Joker don't need but a, a millisecond. He don't need a second. He got that avenue, mm. and then Denver's the type of team that's got used to making that extra pass. So as you're rotating, they're not trying to dribble. They're passing that ball. That's why they got so many wide-open looks with no hand contesting or dunks or layups at the basket yesterday. You cannot give Joker – he can't max out in all areas, y'all. If he's going to score, let him score. He ain't going to beat you scoring, really, not this team. I'm but he cool can't with that. max I'm out in that. points. He can't I'm max cool out that. in rebounds, and he can't max out in assists. 
I'm good. See, with when that. AD can roam, now Joker <clears throat> don't have the angles and, 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 and the avenue to do the assisting that he does. I don't mind if Joker goes to 40 or 42 points, but I need those rebounds 50. to go down to 10 or 11. Yeah. I need those assists to go down to five or six. That's how you beat Denver. But he maxing out with 14 assists, 21 rebounds, 34 points. You're going to lose in four games to Denver if you let Joker do that. And see, Rui's better guarding him because, for one, he's stronger than AD. I don't know. Some guy got mad at the day when we said that. He's literally stronger than AD, and he has that lower sense of gravity. Joker, if you notice, he was Rui, the Rui's big, AD. too. A yeah, lot of people is. think because he's skilled. 6'9". He's 6'9". Nine. Nine. Yeah, no, he Rui, ain't Rui's a bit of 6'9". He got 45-inch vertical. He's athletic. Put him there. Let AD roam and help. Now he don't have the passing lane. And your perimeter guys, guess what? They don't have to leave now. So now you're not getting that catch and shoot because Denver's the best catch and shoot team in the league. They're going to light you up. I said that earlier. You can't give Denver the open shots you gave Golden State. They will hit them. So Murray may go berserk. Jokic may go berserk. You just can't let Murray have 30 and 10 assists. You can't let Jokic have the triple-double that he had last night. A match triple double. It wasn't just a regular triple double. He had a match triple double. Yeah, that was Thirty-four wild. more than he averaged. Twenty-one more than he averaged in rebounds. Fourteen way more than he averaged in assists. He can't have those games. He can't be special like that. Let him score 40, 45 points. Just keep his rebounds and assists lower. I think, I think that the reason why Darvin Ham did that on with Schroeder, I think he was. Denver's known for coming out fast in that first quarter. And you're going to have that altitude problem to deal with, as you can see. Lakers looked like they had mud in their boots that first quarter. He tried to counter it by having a faster lineup out there. It didn't work. It, it didn't work. He's going to go back to Rui. I, I, what, what Mars was saying, I said Rui should have started this game. He's going to go back to Rui. Now, the only reason I got to give D'Lo one more shot is because Darwin is that kind of coach. He has to trust D'Lo for one more game. I did see Bulo out there shooting a bunch of shots. He had his uniform on still. He got work in after the game. Give him one more chance, one set so he can get to his left. Let's see if we can get him effective. Because my problem is going to be I need scoring still coming off my bench. If I'm starting Rui and Schroeder, where's my scoring coming off the bench? Where's my That's true scoring it. coming off the bench? So I don't start Schroeder this next game. I, still, I start Rui for sure. Because now that gives Denver issues on their defensive end. Because Who's going to guard? I think their front court got matchup problems now. Their front court got true matchup problems. And you got to guard all them. Vandy, now you allow everybody to roam when Vandy's out there. You don't have to guard Vandy. You just don't have to. So you can't play him in no scenarios. You put him in as a, as a, after you, D, he cooks D or whatever. You put him in as that secondary glue. Now I put some length on, on, um, on a Murray. Then if you're going that and wear him down, then the second half, you six Schroeder on him. The Lakers, I think they may have to expand their, their, their little their rotation a little bit too. They may have to get Troy Brown in there and use his length. They may have to. Mm-hmm. They may have to. Yeah, they may yeah. have to play. They may have to play. And I'm talking minor minutes though. They six minutes. When they Gabriel, you may have to play Gabriel. You may have to play Tristan Thompson. People are saying just for the Dang. strength of the North. You may have to because you got to wear them down. They look very tired in that fourth quarter. <laughs> Very that's what tired. I was saying. That's, that's all I was saying still, Elder. Yeah, they, they look very tired. The Lakers have to wear them down defensively if they want a chance to win this game. That's what I was saying to Kill Town and, 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 the, and the, my boy uh, Damo. That, that's where the game was lost early because the Lakers got to pull out the body. Yeah. 100%. By the, time, by the time you get in the game, bro, you in a high altitude. Y'all got to understand, bro. I've been in high altitude before. It is hard to breathe up there, bro. Trust me. And especially if you're not playing up there on a normal basis, you come out early and you get out the blocks early, you don't get a good, yeah, you might catch your second win. By the time you do that, that team is already used to playing out in that altitude. So by the time you get late in the game, they're at home. They're going to get all those little – the crowd's going to be with them. They may get late calls. Everything may go in, 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 in their favor. And one thing I disagree with what Damo said too, he said he thinks that, that uh, Denver maxed out with how they could play. I don't think that's true. Denver's had seven players in double figures the entire season this year. So they're used to having seven different players score double figures per game. So this ain't something new. If you look through the playoffs, too, they've had the same type of production all the way across the board. Some nights it may be somebody different. Michael Porter Jr. may step up one night and have 25. And then Murray may have 18 or 17 one night. Another night, Dudu Brown may have 10 one night, 11 one night, and 16, 17 another night. 
They always get it like that. If you look oh, at their no, team, no, no. You, you, called, you, called it, you called it. You called it. You called it, Elder. That damn Brown. I don't, I don't know dude, what the hell. Like he, he played. You, you did. I, don't I don't know what it is. Clippers, bro. You did he call it. Like he on the Clippers when he played against the Lakers. Nah, <laughs> when I say they couldn't play like this again, I mean in getting thirty-four from Jokic, thirty-one from Murray, and also getting twenty-one from KCP, fifteen from Porter. Aaron Gordon gave you twelve, and Brown gave you sixteen off the bench. Yeah. I don't think they're getting that kind of game yeah. all yeah. at once. They, 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 they can't, they can't, can't play like that because what? Because based on the looks, they were getting, what you think they weren't not they close, not close to more. The first three quarters, fifty-seven percent and fifty-seven on the long ball, and, and they was up one. twenty-one points in the, uh, going to the fourth, and they still got it down to one possession. I'm, I'm not worried. I mean, one because of how the one, the adjustments that Darvin Ham will make. You seen just mid-game. He made an adjustment and it kind of limited it that down. I'm not saying those guys aren't going to have their great individual games or two of them might not. I'm just saying all of them, all six of them, they should not if we have a chance of winning. I agree with that. They all can't can't play. But but, but no, I mean, I put a When when our role players aren't producing at the same time, too, when we have our guys playing bad and their role players are doing work, yeah, that that, that can't happen. Who? Which role players come up? What, for us or for them? Y'all had Austin Reeves play great and Rui no, play no, great. Austin Reeves, Austin Reeves played great. But D-Lo played bad. D-Lo played, played bad. D-Lo played D-Lo bad. Stroder was, Stroder was lost he defensively. Wasn't, he lost defensively and offensively. He just wasn't attacking. But what I'm saying right. is, one, 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 one. What I'm saying is, you, I want to push back on what Elder said. Elder said something. I don't want to lose his thought. I do think you can start Schroeder because of the way that Denver's bench plays. They're pitiful. Like, if Jokic ain't on the court, that is a wide open, like, Wide open chance for us to get points, make runs, all that. D'Lo's defense has never been like that. It's not trustworthy right now. I will have shoulder in hey, for defensive purposes. I will hey, maximize Damo. our defense. Damo. And just, what's up? Damo, you said you could play shoulder, so that means D'Lo's going to the bench, correct? Yeah, D'Lo come off hold the on, bench. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stay mm-hmm. with me. So now mm-hmm. think about it. They bench is bad. But when Brown got loose last night, who, was, who did you watch him going around 90% of the time? Was Schroeder. it not D'Lo? He was going around D'Lo. D'Lo can't defend him, bro. Schroeder picked him up in the second half, 94 feet. Go look at mm-hmm. what Brown did in the second half when Schroeder started guarding him 94 feet, when they put Lonnie Walker on him. See, if mm-hmm. you start Schroeder, you don't have no scoring coming off the bench now. And That's why I say bring no D'Lo off the bench. Hold on, hold on. And you have no defense except Vandy, who is not offensive-minded. And you're not putting Vandy, when he come in the game, you're not putting him on, on Doodle Brown. You're not putting him on I mean, Brown. You- you still got Lonnie Walker. He's not a slouch on defense. You got Lonnie and you got Vando bringing you got defense some good off the bench. From, you got some yeah. good minutes from Lonnie yesterday, too. You and know, you, you didn't get enough from Vando. You only got 10 minutes of Vando. I'm cool putting Lonnie, but I, what they going to do? If D'Lo on that I, court, hold on. If D'Lo's on that court, guess what they going to do? Pick and roll so do they switch? I feel you. I don't, I feel you. I don't think Denver's bench don't, lineup yeah, is that I'm going to say, if you – you wait, no. what was that, Marsh? I, I don't think that that advanced to be missed. To They're be not missed that when you seen them last night. When I seen that bench unit come in and Jokic sat down, I want to I, I don't want to say all five starters sat, but I want to say Jamal Murray and Jokic weren't on the court at one point. They had no offense. We, we made a crazy run, they had no offense, they had no game plan, they had nobody to go to, and they had to bring Jokic right back in. Like I, uh, that was, bench that is was terrible. that short stint in the fourth quarter of what you're talking about. So how does old boy score 14 points in the first quarter then if they bench didn't do nothing? I'm not saying they got a world. Bruce Brown was playing with starters. Bruce Brown was in with the starters when he was getting work. When he was again, doing work, he was in with the starters. Again, he, they matched. They did perfectly. They matched him up against D'Lo. D'Lo was the main guy trying to stop him. He can't. You have to have better matchups against that dude. So that's going to be an adjustment on Darvin Ham, but I don't want to take all of my scoring off that bench. I need a scoring punch coming in off the bench. That's and why I don't like Rui. And D'Lo to go left, he ain't no scoring punch. That's for why me. I don't like starting Rui for that Should reason right there. Just, I, 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 that's yeah, yeah that's, why, that, that's why I don't like Schroeder starting Rui. You can make advantages for Schroeder to score. He still can score coming off the bench. The Lakers still outscored him from bench points last night. So we got a better bench. The matchups have to be better, though. And if you got this dude on the bench and then he comes in and then this dude's tired and you got to go to your bench, now that's a bad matchup. That's all I'm saying. I'm not Yo. starting Schroeder and old boy Rui because now I'm almost committed to them playing 35 minutes in that game. They got to be out there the majority of the time. I don't know what their effectiveness is going to we'll be start if we to play them 35 to 38 minutes. Like start. We'll start Schroeder and Vando. Is that a bad idea, starting Schroeder and Vando? Yeah, yeah. That's a yeah. bad idea? Because Denver don't have to play no D. They don't have to play no D. 
No, but Yo, Logan I... with Vando out there. They roam it. They roam it. Vando can't start, bro. I'm sorry. Rui has to start because AD needs that help and AD needs to roam. Ox, uh, we, we haven't heard from you yet. What's your takes on the game? Uh, I know you're big on Denver, so I do actually want to ask you this question as well. Did Denver give them their best shot, or do they have the capacity to play better than this? And then let's hear your thoughts on this game too. And then, Mookie, I'm going to holler at you after. I don't know if it was the, their best shot or – I mean, I think that's just Denver basketball. I think that's what they're coming with. I think that might, I think it could get, could get better than that, or you know, it could dip a little bit. But I initially had Denver in seven. So I might have Denver in five now. I thought because I asked the question. I asked the question yesterday, like can a, can AD? I think it was Elder or Chilltown. One of one of them. One of y'all has said uh, about about y'all could slowing AD down, but not stopping him, obviously. Mm-hmm. And I'll, I'll pose the question, can he even slow him down? This was yesterday. Now right? I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now I see. I don't think he can. I think Jokic might be too much to handle for Anthony Davis. And if, if that's the case, I think it might turn into complete domination. I see um, the, the the adjustment with Rui guarding him and A.D. Roman. I think that was good for last night. It didn't, it, it didn't win him the game, so the adjustment is null and void. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, I mean, I on, on, top, on top, on top, on top of that, on top of that, I, I, I like, I like Jokic to adjust to that adjustment. I think Jokic can handle that. I don't think that's a super. I don't think it's a. You know, it's it's not a crazy, crazy what scheme. Is it's, not, it's not something. It's not something that Jokic could. I mean, he could just play. He could just play ball. I don't know what he's gonna do, but I mean, it's not a crazy adjustment. Like having somebody else guard me, and now AD's Roman. AD, AD Roman isn't gonna stop me from doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't see that stopping Jokic. I think that stops him. Especially after he's seen it, stops him getting assists like that. You don't think that hurts him on the passive angles, and that hurts him on the boards. You don't think that hurts him on those two areas? Uh, I mean, AD, AD's. It's a big court. You you stay spaced. AD, AD, Roman isn't going to stop me from passing to him over here. Like if AD's guarding Anthony, uh, um, Aaron Gordon, it's not going to stop me from from facilitating to Jamal Murray or. Um, or KCP or, or Bruce Brown cutting, you know what I'm saying? Okay. It, can, it can stop me. It can stop me somewhat, but rebounding wise, it might help slow down. It might slow down uh, his rebounding a, a tad bit. But I don't. I mean, you know, I, I see a lot of Lakers fans in in the chat upset. But you know, it's just best. You know. Hey, let me. I want to ask you a question, Big Ops. Basketball. You're saying right, you know? that, and I get I get the <laughs> angle you're trying to come from, and you said that they made the adjustments and they lost. And they did because mm-hmm. they had a big deficit from that first quarter. Yeah. What about Jokic's production? He had consistent production for three quarters. They made that adjustment in the fourth. His production yeah. dropped off. Well, as as I said, as as I said, the adjustment, as I said, the adjustment, it it worked at that time. It worked, the, the you know, after the flat quarter. But now we've seen it. It's like okay, you did that. We still we they they still they still pulled the the game out. If that adjustment would have allowed them to win that game, I would have been like, okay, that's how that's what you got to do to to steal a game one in the mile high. But they didn't. It, the the heist the heist wasn't successful at the end of the day. So therefore, now we got to go to game two. Game okay. two. If you come, if you come if you come back with that same that same scheme, Elder. Now now just, for 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 lack of better time, that's the tired ass scheme. Now we saw it I already. Just don't think it's that black and white, man. It's not. That black and white. I mean, if James cracks that, there's a lot of things that have to go your way in order to win. So if James cracks that three and now we got a tie ball game, that doesn't take away from the fact that what they were doing, that adjustment against Joker, didn't work. That didn't, didn't work. No chill town. It did. Even though they lost it, it's, it's not, not, not work. Right. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Chill is right. Hold on. Chill is right. Chill is right. Respectfully, he's wrong. Hold on. Time out. The team is down 14 going into the fourth. How are we saying right. the adjustment didn't work when it, did, it got him back in the game? That's, those words that came on my mouth. Those words that came on my mouth. No, he just said it's null and void. Hold on, let me defend myself. Let me defend myself. Right, no, I'm with you, Bob. You're right. You you and chill right. Okay, but I'm I'm saying I I didn't say the adjust. I didn't say the adjustment didn't work. I said the adjustment was successful. That's what you just said. I, oh well, if that's what you say. I, I, all I'm saying is I said the adjustment wasn't successful. No, it what works, I'm, it wasn't successful. Right, he's saying he's saying, he's, he's saying, saying, he's saying it was successful because it got him back in the game. Yeah, that's yeah but Elder, here's, here's, here's the thing. Elder, here's here's the thing. Bob's trying to say, Jokic is a high IQ player. 
So what they're going to do is they're going to go look at the film after this game. And Jokic, they're going to see exactly what the Lakers cracked out. Now, we're asking ourselves, is Jokic just being a high IQ player, seeing what the Lakers threw at him, is he going to be able to crack what they did to him with Roy Hachimura? I'm more on Bob's side to say yes. Now, I agree with Chilton. It worked when they threw it at him at that time. But you got to get the win when you do when you threw it at him. Because now they got two days to look at the tape, to go over how they want to play against that type of defense and to counter that. So we'll, we will see in game two if that still works or where they position Jokic at on the court. Because if you have Roy Hachimura, if Jokic most of the time is at the top of the perimeter, setting up the offense, you got Roy guarding him out there. It doesn't really matter where AD is now because That's of the simple – Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Elder. Because AD, if, if Jokic catches the ball at the top of the perimeter like he always does or the top of the key, yeah. he, they, they run in action. Hold on. AD is not going to just be able to stand on their basket like it's his own. He's going to have to guard his man. His man is going to be moving. Yeah, but his man hold, is hold, 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 let me say this. Hold, hold, let me say this. Hold, hold, he's going to have to guard – hold on, Elder. Hold on. If AD – excuse me, if Jokic has the ball at the top of the perimeter, which he does a lot of handoffs, or what he does is he'll do dribble handoffs, or he'll pass and catch cutters cutting through or coming off curls, right? All I'm saying to you is this. At that same time he has the ball at the top of the key, AD can't just stand down there in the post because yes, his man – hold, hold on, hold on, let me finish, Elder. His man yeah. is going to – but let me finish one second. His man is going to be moving. And here's one that's something that you said. Let's say they don't play Aaron Gordon that many minutes, or let's say they give Jeff Green more minutes. Well, guess what? Jeff Green hit a big three last night. He showed you that he can stretch the floor and Jeff Green can slash the finish above the rim of the basket. So, hold on. So, what I'm saying is this. AD will have to follow these guys, especially if they hit a three or two and make you honest. He won't just be able to camp out underneath the paint and just stand oh, there. If, wait if, Eric, if uh, Gordon can – what's that guy? Jeff Green can hit like damn near four or five threes. You tip your cap off, bro. And if, I'm going to give him – my thing is Jeff Green can. I don't think Gordon can. And I think they want to play Gordon more for his athleticism and his rebounding. They now, can't he play Gordon. Last night, but I think they go, they gave Gordon wide open threes last night. He missed all three of them. I yeah, don't think they're going to guard that shot. Now, Jeff Green, he will organically force him to come out because he can hit mm -hmm. him. He can hit three in a row. Gordon ain't doing that. And AD can literally, he's 6'11 with 12-foot arms. He can literally have one foot in the paint, one out. That's not three seconds, y'all. And still man the paint while that goes on. And recover to the guy in the corner if he wants to. I'm, watch, y'all. I'm going to let y'all see this. I'm going to let y'all. The only real true adjustment, in my opinion, that Denver has to that, because, again, you want Jokic to be a scorer. You would rather him score 45 points in this scenario. But now he ain't getting all the rebounds because he ain't at the basket. You put him at the top of the key right there where he was doing that and backing AD down, he ain't trying to do all that with Rui. He just wants to shoot over him. That's Phoenix what we want. Phoenix we want that. Why? Now we can rebound Phoenix. better. Because yeah, Jokic's Phoenix further away from the basket. Phoenix you cut did. his rebounds. You cut his assists. You beat Denver. Mm -hmm. He Phoenix can score did. 45 points. But if them other guys ain't getting going the way they like to, they're not it's getting around. wide open Phoenix. looks. So Phoenix did. Ox said, Ox said, well, you ain't going to stop them from passing there. Yes, you will. Yeah. They he definitely did that, that with that adjustment. Those dudes don't have to cheat. You, you push Jokic to a deep. And make him pass to AD's man. And when he does, now AD long enough to recover, especially on a Gordon or even on a Jeff Green. That show, it showed you in the fourth quarter and everybody, well, they were just tired. What were they tired from, y'all? They were tired from that defense intensifying. So imagine yeah. if they play that defense, not just All one game. quarter, y'all. Imagine if they play that defense for two or three quarters. Which they've What's done that before. Be? Which they've, they've done that before. Out. Which they've done that before. I don't before. understand what y'all talking about. No, uh, -uh. it's not. Hey, it, it, hey, it, hey, Bob, I gotta come at you today, my brother. I'm still mad at you a little bit about that that light the beam shit too. You know, you lost my money. I'm, I'm still mad at you about that. I, I, I love you. I, I still I, love the, you, the beam. The beam a lot again. You. Double down. I Double down. You, bro. But seriously, I, I, I gotta come at you on this because you said I didn't get the best out of Denver. One thirty six is not the best from Denver. This is their style. One thirty six is not the apex of Denver. What's the apex? One fifty. What's the but, but the Lakers got forty six from the three. They gonna get better than that. You think they're gonna score more than 136? No, I'm saying no. I'm saying to you, the Lakers shot 46 percent from the three last night. You think they're gonna shoot better than that? No, but we're gonna limit the open threes. No, no, no. I'm saying no, no. I'm saying you guys are just pointing at Denver, saying, "Oh, well, they can't do this better." Well, can the Lakers shoot better than what they shot last night? I do. On top of that, on top of that, hold on, hold on. Denver shot 46 percent too, though. So they both. Hold on, hold on. Who's more likely? Who's more likely to shoot closer to that? That's L. That's L. Matsky ball, Elder. 
the amount of points, <laughs> the amount, the amount of points a team scores is not indicative on how good they play. You know, just because just because you I can score 136, mm. you can I play better. You can play better and score 115. I have a question. You know what I'm saying? That's question. L basketball, Elder. Because, hey, d- d- great. Your statement lines up with my question. Because if we go back to the right. last series with Denver played uh, 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 the Suns, they blew them out like this in the first game, right? They mm-hmm. came back and won the second game. But Denver only scored 99 points. So that's to your point. They played better and scored less points. I'm going to ask you, Bob, do you see Denver beating this team, though? The Lakers, not not weak defensively uh, hurt. Phoenix, can they beat the Lakers scoring 99 points? Can they beat the Lakers scoring 99 points? Because that's what happens. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking on that. The, 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 the Lakers don't have – Yeah, I'm thinking that too, Yeah, they score 95 points. They score 90. The Lakers don't have the firepower that the Phoenix Suns have, though. I don't think they need it, though. I I don't think that they need that. I mean, they might. Who – because – you they got better people, Bob. They got better people. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to answer your question, other. If I didn't, give me one more chance. Give me one more chance. Okay. I, I don't know. I don't. You know, if they score 99 points, <laughs> no, I don't think they win. I don't think they, they win. don't. I don't think they, they don't. Win. But and I think but Lakers, with that being said, with that being said, the Lakers aren't going to come out. I don't think the Lakers will come out and give you, uh, give you 140, 150 every game either. So. No. Why, why would the Lakers score less than the Denver if, if Denver's a Whoa. better offensive team? Whoa, Whoa. It's Elder. You got it. All I was saying is Denver imposed their defense and played better in game two. What's that? I think they only had like eight points, 82 points. It was a blowout still. I don't see the Lakers scoring 80-some points against these dudes. And I don't see Denver being able to do that to the Lakers. Like, I don't see the Denver blowing the Lakers out in a low-scoring game. I don't see that. The Lakers, to me, are a better defensive team than Denver. Denver can play D when they want to, but I think the Lakers are a better defensive team. They're definitely better defensively than Phoenix, and they got more scoring options. I'm telling you, it's going to be hard. With Rui out there, it makes it hard on that front court for them, especially on both ends because they're getting it defensively and offensively from the Lakers. Can I ask you a question? Do you think – do you think – now, you just stated, and I think – I mean, Chilltown and Dom will probably agree with you. That you, you think that the Lakers can win a game in Denver? Do you think Denver can win a game in LA? No. I think, the, <laughs> I think, hold on, let me tell you. I, That's right, it's real. Let, let me finish. Can I answer the question? Go ahead, go ahead. Home. I think the Lakers can steal this. Because to me, defense still wins championships. I still will vote for a defensive team over an offensive team. That's me. So I'm looking at the better defensive teams. The Lakers have shown they can play elite defense. And what the Lakers have shown, one thing they do at home is they do play elite defense. And their role players play very good at home. I literally got the Lakers winning the next three games. I still got the Lakers in six. I'm not a prisoner of the moment. I think the Lakers can get – they almost Elder, stole – Elder, you LA, you LA thing, fans though. are so toxic, bro. No problem. Here's the thing. Mm. How can we think no, – Y'all problem. Lakers fans right. are so toxic. <laughs> Yo, Elder, he called you toxic and you said no problem. No, that man, that man, that man he, he just said Denver can't win a game in L.A., dude. Come on, man. Hey, I was about to say chicken. I think they can. Come on, he just said no. He just said L. He said Denver can't win a game in L.A. I think you're going to agree with that, dog. What was the – Let me finish it. I know – I want to do a reality. Did not the Lakers almost, almost steal game one? We did. did. We almost stole it down 20. So right. why we can't think they could get game two? And if they get game two and they go back home and they play elite defense, I, the La- hold on. Denver ain't the only team ain't lost at home in the playoffs. The Lakers haven't lost at home in the playoffs either, y'all. So why would I not think the Lakers can win game two when they almost won game one down 20? Why would I not think that? And why would I not think the Lakers can hold serve at home when they've shown they play elite defense and their role players play good offense at home? Why would I not think that? I ain't toxic. The only reason, that, the only reason, what the Lakers have shown me. They the showed only, me that. The, the hey, only go, reason. Go, go ahead, Damo, and then we need to hear from Mookie after this, and then yeah. we got to move on. But go, go ahead. I, I'll just say the Lakers do have a history, and it might not be at home, but we definitely have a history in this playoffs of having lax days with games and the sense of urgency not being there. And you combine and you combinate that with the fact that this is a real big man that AD cannot stop. Like so far in the playoffs. We've been able to rely our rely our morals on, yo, at the end of the day, AD is going to be the best defender on the court. We still got a shot because AD is going to be able to stop whatever they got going on. 
That is not going to work here. Regardless of what happens, they have a seven-footer over there that's going to take it to AD every game possible. And we have, and again, we have a history of having guys like D'Lo show up one game, not show up another. AD, who's broke the, and I'm, I'm mad Fluence not here because ever since he said this, I think AD watched that episode because AD ain't been inconsistent since he brought up his consistency. Ever since he brought up the game one, the game two, the game he was three, inconsistent game last night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one, but you 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 because you kept talking about his defense, Dom, and how his no, defense. No, no, no. His, defense his defense. His defense. His defense. I was talking about. I, I been, when I was talking about the floor point, he meant offensively, scoring wise, he was inconsistent. That's what I was we meaning. Don't need forty from AD. And we, we don't, 40, and I, I agree with that. We don't need we get forty from AD. We in trouble. Yeah, and I said that. I, I Actually, no, you're not in trouble. Ho, 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 ho. No, you're not in trouble. Let's make sure we clear. No, you're not. You're nine and zero when Anthony Davis scores forty. You haven't looked. Yeah. Last night was the first time you lost this season when Anthony Davis scores forty. And so that's this, not true. I'll, I'll be more that's not true. For you, chill town. Chill okay. Town. Be more specific. In this series against this yeah. team, yeah. If AD has to score forty. We're in trouble because I can tell you this: he ain't getting it all in the paint like that. Because I believe in trouble already. Ticket, oh, boys are better defender than he used to be. I think Jokic is better defensively, especially interior wise. He got that right. stuff in the mid range. If he's scoring forty, he better be the way he should. And I need AD to dominate the glass. That's when the huh? Lakers are really at their best. He's I had 40, AD and I'm glad you brought that up, Elder, because he's had 40 and he's had 40 and dominated the glass. I watched him put 40 and 20 on Giannis. So he's done that. So he has dominated the glass. Yes, so that's not this series. That, 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 this e series. Even, even in this series, I think that what we have to remember is we got to stop looking at, quote, unquote, the bubble. That's a different joker than it was three years ago today. That's not the I same dude. That. That's that. That's not the that. same dude. That, that is not the same. That, that is not the. That is not the same guy. Better. I I think the team is better, right? I think I the team is better. But, better I but I, I think Mook is up, so yeah, yeah, I, I don't want to take any more. I don't want to take any more of your time. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. What, I don't know what y'all talking about, but uh, yeah, give us give a shout out to the um, Denver Nuggets. They played well st uh, for most of the part in the first three quarters. Um, you could tell that the Lakers what they were doing, especially in the um, first half, was literally switching the action. And you got guys like um, um, D'Lo was getting beat on back cuts. Uh, Dennis Stroders was lost on the switch, not communicating properly as well. Getting up a lot of offensive rebounds. When you give up a lot of offensive rebounds, especially when transition, when you're missing shots and you're giving up um, offensive rebounds, they give them an extra um, opportunity to score. Um, what the Lakers kept on doing was uh, attacking Jamal Murray late in um, fourth, which allowed them to uh, score – some um, big possessions, especially for the pick and pop from um, Austin Reeves um, on the left wing as well. He hit about, I believe, like two threes off of that. And the adjustment that Darvin Hill made um, by having Rui guard Jokic, the reason why that worked is because uh, the Nuggets put Aaron Gordon in that dunker spot. So when you put Aaron Gordon in that dunker spot, that easily – so when Jokic is backing down Rui Hachimura, he's trying to get into the paint, that easily allowed Anthony Davis to come over there and uh, show help or um, – you know, acre shots because he was the roamer off of Eric Gordon. The Nuggets, I believe, late in the fourth quarter, were like I believe, like two minutes ago in the fourth, they started putting Eric Gordon in the corner, and that's when Eric Gordon started to cut more, and um, that's when Jokic was, you know, dishing out to KCP on the left wing as well, especially the tension to what Jokic brings. And um, I believe that the, the Nuggets can adjust for that. Um, I think the Nuggets can put um, Eric Gordon in more pick-and-roll actions, and bring Anthony Davis more up out of the paint. Um, but, yeah, just, you know, listen, the Denver Nuggets shot, I believe, what, fifty, almost close to 50% from the three-point line. And, yes, the Lakers shot well, too, as well. But the fact that they was up 21 points in part of somewhat in the third quarter and they cut it down to 14, it was only one possession. It was a one-possession game. I think that it's um, – um, it's a great sign for the Los Angeles Lakers going forward in this series. Um, it's, it's about slight adjustments that they need to make. Um, but other than that, uh, the Lakers, I, I, I do got to talk about starting Vanderbilt, right? Because I do think that he can provide some pick and roll, um, point of attack, wing resistance on guarding guys like Jamal Murray as well. Um, I do not like you doubling Jokic. You cannot double Jokic. Jokic is so great of a playmaker and passer where he can actually see over top of the defense, guys cutting, and also um, he just so great of a uh, decision maker where he knows the play is um, coming before it develops. So 
Um, Lyle Whose Yoko idea was that, by the way, Mook? I'm sorry to interrupt you, but whose I don't idea know. was that? I don't who, know. Like, you know I'm, I'm an all-league defender, okay? Facts. I'm one of the best defenders in the league. Facts. You do not have to pinch down. You do not have to dig down you when, don't I'm have to run, when I'm covering when I'm on the box. You know what when, I got eight, when, you when I got run. AD on when I got AD on uh let, Jokic one Let me deal with him. Let me deal with him. You don't have to dig down here. That's why they were getting the looks that they were getting, but I'm sorry to Did you see those three just dig them? Go ahead. No, nah, Mook, I was going to say to you, I do think they did that because they didn't want AD to get a quick foul to, so they wanted to kind of show some help. That's the only reason why I could think that they did that because when AD playing Jokic one-on-one, -on -one, maybe the ref calls a cheap foul on AD or two early, and that gets AD out the game. So maybe if I'm showing, maybe that kind of helps a little bit if I'm giving this guy help because normally you would, AD wouldn't be yeah, playing one-on-one. -on -one. You know what I'm saying? Which is fair, which is fair ticket, but yeah, I think AD is, smart, AD is smart enough. Even if he does get a quick foul early, you don't have to double. You do not have to double because he's smart enough to know not to get himself in foul trouble. Even if he did pick up a quick foul early, that's not gonna that that what that doesn't mean that I'm completely gonna go away from how I defend Joker. Now I'm not gonna do that. No. So again, Mook, I don't want to interrupt you. Keep going. They're the best spot up shooters in the NBA. There's I'm no reason I, I can I can deal with him. I'm not you, giving him that. There's no reason why. But, but, but your time. Time. I'm mad at Mook because this ain't what Mook said last night. What did you uh -oh. say last night? Uh -oh. Last night, Mook. Oh, he pull he pulling your car. That's what bro. I said last night. I mean, what you said last hold, night. Hold, hold, hold. Why, why did you say, hold on? Why did you say that the Lakers lost this game? I said it for the reason. I sit there and said that uh I basically said it for the reasons what I broke it down today. No, 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 no. You blame the game on LeBron James last night. I heard you. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to that. Get to that. Get to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. LeBron yeah. James. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I was hold on, I'm gonna keep the same minutes. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep the same minutes. <laughs> yes, the game was cut into three points. Mm -hmm. And they had a, they had an opportunity to bring the dang game down by two points. Mm -hmm. And LeBron James jacked up that ill advised three, which I got on Steph Curry for that. I believe he did it in the game four. Mm -hmm. LeBron James, take it to the rack. Manipulate the defense, attract three or four defenders, right? Murray Put pressure on the Denver, on the Denver Nuggets defense and get into the rim. That's that's what you got to do because listen, the Denver don't have the Denver Nuggets don't have no adequate rim protection under down low. So why are you taking that three to, to take the pressure off the defense? We had an opportunity of get into the rim, and if they're going to load up, because LeBron James does generate gravity. If he because even though LeBron James did not generate the same rim pressure they used to uh, get, especially in this prime. He still, when he drives to the basket, he does generate some type of gravity where it attracts two or three defenders. Mm -hmm. So put pressure on the defense, get to the rim, get to the free throw line, and, and um, not let the Denver Nuggets defense off the hook by taking that ill advised three. Right. Which like, is listen, fair. They had, a, they had an opportunity of winning this game, especially how bad, especially how bad the Lakers defense played, mm -hmm. especially the adjustments that Darvin Hill made. Um, Mike Malone made adjustment, but he made it too late, which I believe that. Um, there, there, there's going to be a significant adjustment they're going to make in game two, but yeah, man, this game they could have won this game, but LeBron they could have. sold it, man. He sold now it. I, don't, I don't know if he sold it, Mook. That that shot was ill advised. But what what you leaving out is you leaving out the other stuff that he did during the game. So for example, the fact that he was beating up on Jamal, <laughs> he was beating up on Jamal oh, yeah, Murray sure. on the on the sure. box and wearing Jamal Murray down and wearing Jamal Murray down. It was obvious that that affected his offense late in the game. I'm watching Jamal Murray. I'm watching Jamal Murray. With, I'm watching Jamal Murray cover Schroeder, and I'm watching Aaron Gordon covering LeBron James, and they're trying to get Jamal Murray in the pick and switch, and he's screaming at Aaron Gordon, I don't want to switch. Get back over here. And the reason mm -hmm. why is because what he's doing. You say, it, you say it, LeBron it, James it, lost, it, it, lost it, it, energy or something like that? No, not LeBron James. What he was doing was he, oh. got, he got Jamal Murray on him, and he had him on the box, and that steady pounding on him and beating up on him, that affected Jamal Murray's offense late. Because he had to deal with LeBron mm -hmm. James. If you saw him at the top of the key, when him and Aaron Gordon, LeBron James and Aaron Gordon, Gordon James, picked him up James, James, James is the primary ball handler. Aaron Gordon is covering him. They're trying to get Jamal Murray in pick and switch, which they do. And I see Jamal Murray screaming at Aaron Gordon to get back over here because I don't want to cover him. And the reason why he didn't want to cover him, because that was taking away so much of his energy, which was taken away from his offense. And I thought that putting James on a box was creating a lot of fouls. Not only was it creating a lot of fouls, it was creating a lot of opportunities for him to score and for him to get other guys involved because James is such a great mm -hmm. passer. Now, I will tell you this, Mook, you are correct on that long ball because it was two minutes left in the game and they were only down three. You didn't need yeah. that right then and there. You yeah, could have yeah. took the ball. You could have took the ball to the basket, but they still had they still had time to get back in the game after that. Because they cut it to three again. Because they, they turned it over. They, 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 
They they had this act. They had LeBron this. LeBron had a horrible two minutes. That, he got he yeah, got in the lane. Terrible, yeah, he got look. He, he, he got, got, he got, got in the lane. He got in the lane and got stripped. But look, this is the one thing I got a problem with all y'all on, except for Bob and Mars. Except for Bob and Mars, you guys didn't. You guys talking about all the adjustments with the Lakers. You guys only Elder said one thing he thought that the Denver Nuggets could do. Nobody talked about some of the different things the Denver Nuggets can do to counter whatever the Lakers are going to break for. And that's the problem I got. Y'all act like the Denver Nuggets. So this is the greatest they can play game over. I told you. Over I told Tiggy. Hold on, Tiggy. I told you they're going to they gonna not put Eric going to duck. I don't know why they put Eric going to the ducker spot and continue to allow Anthony Davis to roam off he Eric going to the ducker from spot. Three. That's so, so, yeah, that's exactly probably, probably because of that. You but they, they did it. That's exactly yeah, why. Yeah, 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 yeah know, probably because that's what they did. But they, right. they got to There's no they reason to go out there and deal with him. They're going to have, like, if you, for a guy that can't shoot, a guy that's not a threat of scoring consistently outside, you got to consistently put him in some actions. You got to put him some pick and roll actions. That'll be the screener. Or you you, you got to do something to not to get Anthony Davis off the paint. What I believe that the Denver Nuggets will do. I believe that Jeff Green will get some minutes because of the time where where the Denver Nuggets went um, big and uh, I think believe they went in the lineup with Jokic, Jeff Green, Jam uh, Michael Porter Jr. and then KCP and Jamal Murray. Hold when on. Anthony Davis was roaming, uh, you had Jeff Green that was hitting some big threes as well. Hold so on, but, but move. That means, that, hold on, but that means that means that that means that Vanderbilt is useless then. For them yeah. because he's not a threat yeah. offensively, right? Yeah, but that's you why that's why I said Vanderbilt, that's why I said that's why I said like spot minutes to cover the Yeah, yeah, no, no, because I'm saying all, you gotta play Vanderbilt no, no, minutes. I, 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 uh Mookie and Elder, all I'm saying is this all the players Denver got that can play defensively, they can match that because they can actually put the ball in the bucket. All of those dudes they got can put the ball in the bucket. The Lakers have some dudes that can give you that energy defensively, like Vanderbilt. But he ain't. He can't really score the basketball. So that's what I'm saying. Like, how, how, like, how much do you look at a Troy Brown in series? You understand what I'm saying? How much do you? How much is is D'Lo at risk? How does D'Lo react? Because D'Lo, think about y'all. D'Lo is part of the reason why the Lakers are here. If you just do what y'all said, do, then Domo, I think Domo was saying this too, which is bench D'Lo and just play Schroeder, bro. I you you gonna lose D'Lo? You don't want to lose D'Lo. No, 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 I didn't say, well, bring him off the bench. I didn't say necessarily. No, no, I'm saying, no, no, but I'm saying, no, I'm saying, no, because Delo doesn't look at himself. I, I'm just saying this to you, like, you, you're talking yeah, about proper players. That. You're talking proper players. But, okay, well, let me say this. I said start Delo this game and bring Schroeder. No, I'm talking about Dama. I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about Dama. Oh, okay. I'm talking about, saying I said, yeah, yeah. You talking about, but you talking about proper players. A player like Delo, who just said he was just upset about his role, Who's probably up for 140, 150 million dollar contract? He just helped you advance, even though he had some shaky games. He had major games that helped you get here. If you guys say, okay, you have a bad game two to start, we're gonna just bench you and bring you off the bench for the rest of the how, how do y'all know y'all might not lose him? Because he has made so many huge shots and so many huge plays throughout the course of this playoffs for the Lakers. You can't just say, okay, if he does this again, we're gonna bring him up because you might mentally lose him because some dudes can't deal with that type of adjustment. Or that type of, even though you might not say it's a demotion, that demotion. I feel like D'Lo is one of those guys because he's never been a dude to come off the bench his whole career. Ham ain't doing that. I don't Ham don't do that to guys anyways. He lets you work your way out by your minutes going down. And that's what will happen. D'Lo will start, but mm -hmm. his minutes will just dwindle if he is not effective. So the I question I got to ask y'all, do y'all let, let Rui start? Yeah, Rui definitely start. I do not yeah. like this start. I do not like this switching up the lineup this late in the season, man. I don't understand why y'all keep doing that, yo. What is the deal? Because <laughs> what you're doing when you throw in these different guys in the lineup, what you're doing is that suggests weakness. I don't like that, yo. I don't. I don't think it suggests. I, that. Don't. I think you adjust. Sure, I think weakness. you adjust. It's a lineup adjustment. Going up against. And he thank you. You got a six eleven small and forward. Here's the thing. Vandy is not known for starting. You can do that to him. He ain't a perennial starter. So you ain't hurting his ego by bringing him off the bench. He's so, used so, to that. So the starting lineup for game two would be uh, Dennis, Just Rui. Just Rui. put Rui in for Vandy. That's what it is. That's okay. what it should be. All right, bet. That's what it should be. And then Schroeder on the quick hook. If D'Lo getting cooked and all that, you got to get Schroeder in there. And D'Lo oh, is going to get cooked. That's who he is. The problem with D'Lo, like I, the rest of your guys, and you and I have had this conversation, <laughs> Elder, the problem yeah. with the rest of your guys is you got a bunch of one-dimensional guys. And if they're not doing their job, they're useless, particularly D'Lo. If D'Lo is not making shots, what exactly is he doing on the floor? My thing is this with D'Lo. I agree. He's a traditional point guard with the ball in his hands. You have to set stuff up for him. 
Last time this happened to D'Lo, he came back the next game and scored the first 11 points for the Lakers. They had 21 at halftime and, he, and propelled us to win that game. I expect Darvin Ham to run set plays to benefit D'Lo on the offensive end. That's what I expect from him. Mm-hmm. And D'Lo should get going. If he don't get going and he still is struggling, he's going to have to go more to Vandy and Schroeder with the rest of the minutes for the defensive side. He's going to have to do that. But he's not going to bench D'Lo. If D'Lo's played, I don't, anybody know how many minutes he played last night? I think anybody he played 20, 24. I think he, did 20, right, I think he played 24, 24 minutes last night. Something say like that. D'Lo gets off to the same start this time. I don't know if that's true. 20, 20, 26, 20, 26, 26, 26, 26 okay. I said 24. If he's playing bad, he'll play 20 this next game. If he's playing, if he, he plays 20, game three, now he's going to go home. You're going to expect him to play better at home. If he doesn't, he'll go down to 15 or 14 minutes. That's what he does. He will take your minutes from you until you fall yourself out the lineup. But he's not going to just snatch D'Lo out because I agree with Ticket. You will lose him, and D'Lo's a guy that's used to starting his whole career. Vandal's not. You're not losing that. Vandal, Roy, all them guys, they're used to in and out. They're not. They're fine. You can do that with them. D'Lo, you can't do that with. A.D., LeBron, you can't do that with guys that are used to starting. So, But I, D'Lo's not D'Lo, used to competing for a championship, and that's what this is about. This isn't about your contract. This isn't about a regular season accolade. This is about going deep in the playoffs and winning no, the league. And for right. that, and, for that, no and I'm not saying I'm not saying no cut more. all his minutes. When I say bench D'Lo, just bench – bring him off the bench and still give him – No, no, but Damo, 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 your point, your, your analysis – your your mindset is right, but see, this whole, this is what this is. Hold on, this is the difference with over time. This is no, no, the difference. This is the difference with playing with pros, bro. When you got some pros like uh, they, they're like this, bro. Like some pros, they move a certain way, bro. Some pros ain't all for that. Some pros look at that and that means something to them to start. Some pros can't. They literally don't know how to play off the bench. They don't know how to come off the bench. You know what I'm saying? saying? They're so used to like if you started every single game of your career. And now you get to the playoffs, you're not playing well. Even when you didn't play with Minnesota, they didn't bring him off the bench. But you do that, you do that now, and you bring him off the bench. You don't want to lose him now. Because like I said, like I said before, contrary to what all the cap and ass dudes and the comments that you were saying, D'Lo scored 31 in the closeout against Memphis. He helped close the cash on dudes. He he also was scoring big points. So D'Lo comes and goes. But if Darvin Ham knows if I bitch, if I bring him off the bench, I'm going to completely lose him because his mental. Ain't on a level which which you and I understand that guys should be on when you at this level and you trying to win. So a guy like Roy Hachibor, you can tell he's mentally tougher than what we thought. You know why? Because the coach will put him in the starting lineup for one series, yank him for another series, and guess what? Roy still come out back. He still come out getting buckets. He still come out cooking. To, this man is there. Roy used to that. He used to right. be in the rotation. But, but a guy like D'Lo, bro, who started every single game in his career, you can't just go and say, I'm the elder. You can't just go and say, I'm a Yankee like that. What you got to do is – you got to just pull him quick. As soon as you see he ain't going, work his ass. Because if you don't, if you don't, bro, I'm telling you, you're going to lose him completely. And that's, that's detrimental to his mental. Yo, he, fellas, I, I, I got to jump in. I, I, I got to jump in. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to a lot of these topics. So we got a lot of super chats to get to. Also, I do have to acknowledge that this show is brought to you by none other than Underdog Sports, uh, Underdog Fantasy, and with Underdog we finally did something, chat. We finally did something. We won our first contest. Had Jamal Murray going higher than 24.5 points, he had 31. Had Austin Reeves going higher than 14.5 points, he had 23. And LeBron higher than 39.5 points, rebounds, and assists, he had 47 all together. So, chat, what we're going to do is same thing. If it's not broke... Don't fix it. Chat, I'm going to have you guys Ron, vote on hit, to... We hit Ron right on the money. On the money. Hit Ron right on... N- no, no, he went over. He went, he over, went way, way over. Way over. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, chat, I'm going to have you guys choose two, and then us up here as a collective, we're going to choose one. Uh, And if you guys just want to go ahead and get some, some, some cold hard cash in your pockets, go ahead and download the app or go to the website. The link is pinned right at the top of the chat. It's right there in front of you. You, you can see it right there. Right there. Click on it. Use the promo code, the panel, and you will be matched up to 100. Yes, that's up to 100. If you put in 50, you will be matched 50. That's the easy way to double up. And then you guys follow our our, our wagers, our contest, and then you'll triple up. And then just keep doing that all week. And at the end of the NBA Finals, we will all be happy, rich men and women. All right, let's go ahead and jump into these Super Chats. 
Hashtag the panel. Remember that. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Here we go. Alan R said, somebody check on Mars. He got to be in shambles. Is that true, Mars? It, was, it wasn't a good day yesterday. Terrible day. <laughs> Eat it, Mars. Eat it, Mars. <laughs> Eat it, Mars. <laughs> Mad Dog said, the Nuggets hit the Lakers with their best punch and almost lost. Lakers started to figure them out in the fourth, put Rui on Jokic, and have AD Rome. Also, no three-guard lineups. They ain't the Golden State Midgets. Five. Y'all got to stop this. The Lakers yeah, shot 46 yeah. from the yeah, three. Are they going to do that again? Are they going to do that again? Are the yes. Lakers going to shoot 46 yes. from the three again? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's, just, that's, just, that's just looking at it with Rose. They will have another game. They shoot 46% from the three. Yes. Yes. I think you're asking oh, a lot. Oh, oh. I, I think you're asking a lot with that, Elder. On the road, okay. shooting 46% from the three. Didn't 46%. Okay. He just said, will they ever shoot 46% again in, in this series? They will. They okay. Will. Okay. I think you're asking a lot on the road to shoot that well. Go back and look at the previous series. Go back and look at the three points. And I think we and I think they shot over forty percent. And I think we overestimate in that Rui thing. And the reason why we overestimating it is because again, we're looking at a we're looking at a Rui Joker situation where that was in a small sample size, small stretches. That wasn't that wasn't throughout that wasn't like that was the entire fourth or the entire second half. That was through that was that was a couple of minutes in the fourth quarter. Moving along, uh, Pimp Name <clears throat> Slickbacks, give my man Jokic credit. We are seeing greatness, man. Some nostalgia, too, with the big man who plays physical. Jokic is the best player in the world right now. Credit to Mars and Lowe. They were right about him. He don't get no credit to the job is done. Like Kobe Bean Bryant said, holler at me when the job is done. I don't, because he's. we've seen him here. Hold on, we've seen him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We've seen him right here before. We've seen him here before, and he got walked down four straight games after that. So when he clo- when he finished the deal, then we give him his credit. We don't give Mark. credit for halfway getting the job done. We've seen him up 1-0 on the Lakers in the conference finals before, and he got walked down and stripped down till he's nude and beat yeah, down. I think he lost game one. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't win. I don't, hold on, we've seen him in the conference finals and lose. Period. No, they did win game one. They did win game one in 2020. They did. Right. Every game one in 2020. Damn right. No, no, no. They did. I, I know. I watched they, game one two days ago. I promise you, I watched game one two days ago. Did they? Denver won game three. Denver won game three. That was Denver won. Lakers won. Yeah, Lakers. The Lakers won the first two games. The Lakers won the first two games. He, we've I, seen I, him in the I conference re-watched, finals. I re-watched that game. Okay. 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 We've seen him in the okay. conference finals, and he left. Okay. Like, so when he when he wins, when he wins and gets to the finals and wins, then we'll praise him like we praise Hakeem. We'll praise him like we praise him. We'll praise him. We're not like Tim, but we'll pr- we'll give him praise for being a championship big man. Other than that, man, come on, bro. All nah. right, next super chat. Next super chat. Jason the kid said, "If you think AD had a great game, you don't know basketball. AD is the reason that they lost." Oh, shut up. Mm-hmm. What? Just defensively, that's all. Oscar Proud Jr. said Lakers in six. Lakers with the adjustment can build on that Nuggets. Can build on that. Nuggets can't rely on miracle shots. They were hidden or KCP getting 30. Why can only one team adjust? Repeat, they get 30. But, but both of them adjust, Mars. Because I, I, I yeah, tell you right now, the, the Lakers act like the Nuggets is not yeah, adjusting. You see right. the Lakers the, making an adjustment, and all of a sudden Denver right. just gonna play the same the whole series. Right. Like, they, they, right. they can't do that. Because the because I'm watching I'm watching Jamal Murray come off. I'm watching Jamal Murray come off pin downs and he wide open. I'm thinking to myself, if they're gonna do this all night, they're gonna do this all series, you dudes getting mopped out of here. So they gotta figure that something has to happen here. They have to do that. Wide open if, 16 if footers, wide open 15 footers. Points, what adjustments do they do? I mean, you're gonna have to hit them first before they adjust anything because everything they shot worked. Everything they, oh, they, they, worked. they just adjust to how they how, how they how they played in the fourth quarter in the in the, in the, yeah, in the they, they, adjust, they adjust to the new coverage that the Lakers right. gave them and that's they, all. they change it. That, that's all it, like both teams okay. adjust. You don't just expect one team to play the same. Yeah, the whole never time. adjusted late in the fourth. I think but you also don't don't don't, don't leave. Don't leave out, Mars, that, you know, when something's working, we stick to it. And until yeah. you stop us from doing this, we're going to keep right. doing this. Yeah, I, I, I agree. That's why people only think the losing team ever adjusts. But Denver are going to change up how they use Aaron Gordon in game two. I'm certain. Right. And yeah. And, and, hey, Ron, one other thing uh, to ask you. If, 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 the, if, that, if the, that doesn't work, what else can the Lakers do to, to adjust if the Roy thing doesn't work? Nothing. <laughs> Honestly, nothing. What else is what, what else is there? A ticket because uh, because it, what, what, what leaves us what's left now is 
Now I got to go back to my big guy, my all-league, my all-world big guy. I got to go back to him dealing with Joker one-on-one because I can't put James on him because putting James on him for stretches may work for a little bit, but ultimately, my big guy is going to ultimately have to James deal with can't it. Guard like, you. So, hold on. So you don't believe – hold on. So you guys don't believe that what they did in, in 2020, since everybody said the bubble – all the Lakers fans say the bubble was a legit championship. Y'all don't it, believe that the change start – hold on, hold on. Y'all don't think it should start a two big lineup, maybe with a Tristan Thompson guard and an AD Roman like what? that to be big and be able to control the board? If, that's even worse. If they no, had, if they 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 had, hold on. I want y'all to listen to what I'm saying, though. I want y'all to listen to what I'm saying. Oh, I'm saying I'm hold on. The one thing we do have to give greetings to Tristan Thompson does have NBA championship experience. Yes, he no. does know how to rebound the ball. If, if anything, we ain't asked him to score points, but he will mm-hmm. crash the ball. He will rebound the ball. He will box out. He will do dirty work. So I'm saying, at push come to shove, I think the Lakers could do that. And I'm talking about go big. For example, if they lose, if they play Roy on him and they lose on the boards in game two, to me, you have to play big or in the post like you did before and control the paint, control the boards. I think with Tristan Thompson giving you 15 minutes, with playing beside AD and rotating it like they did with Dwight and JaVale McGee, the bigs, that controlled the boards, that helped control the game, bro. You Ticket, guys we literally just like, had, no, 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 Ticket, we literally just had this conversation yesterday. We, when I said, I don't be surprised, oh, yeah. quote, don't be surprised if you see Tristan Thompson in this series. I said that. And the reason why I said that is because I'm thinking about how big Denver is <laughs> and getting them off the backboard and, and, and neutralizing them on the backboard. Once again, we have to make sure we're clear. You're not going to stop Joker. And we got to stop looking at – we have to stop looking at Joker today like we did three years ago. That's not the same dude from three years ago. Same logic when KD saw James in 17 in the finals. That ain't the same dude from 2012. That's a different dude. So that's the same logic with Joker. That's a different dude that you're seeing. So we got to throw different looks at him. When I say throw different looks at him, I mean we got to throw different bigs. And if you got a big like Tristan Thompson, if you got a big that can help you, like Tristan Thompson, get on the backboard, he's got to be involved in the lineup. He has to be. Chill town. Chill town. Chill town. For two series now, I've been saying give me more bomb, bro. No, I, I, believe, help I, believe, I don't even know what you're expecting to see from him. But I do Tristan believe that Thompson Tristan Thompson probably, probably yeah, my probably hurt, man. Minutes. I think I think Tristan Thompson will probably see some minutes. Right. This is my thing. That's going to be worse than anything else they've, they've, they've thrown at him so far. Tristan Thompson is going to do nothing for them defensively. He can't, he can't slow Jokic down at all. Nobody. It's not going to help him. It's not no, going to help him. That. I, I, know, I, know you're board, that, I know you're not saying that, Tika. Let me finish real quick. Yeah. That's not going to do anything for them. Also, it's going to slow them down on deep on, on the offensive end. He's, it's, it's, I would rather have – y'all were saying, I think Lowe was saying that Vandy can't play – I was trying to figure out ways that they can make they can make him um, usable on, on the offensive end. Right, y'all 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 was saying y'all couldn't figure out any way. So how are y'all going to figure out a way for Tristan Thompson to help out on the, on the offensive end? He's going to slow down the offense and he's not going to provide anything. He's going to provide nothing on defense. Nothing. No, but he's different. He's in the center position. So what we're saying is, is this: if you have if you have Tristan Thompson starting at the center, and AD starting at the four. The one thing we know AD can do is AD can spread the floor because his jump shot is going down right now, right? So we can't right. get the little. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, Bob. We're not it's, asking it's, Tristan it's, it's, Thompson. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Bob. Hold on, hold on, Bob. Bob, Bob, Bob. Hold on one second, Bob. We're not asking Tristan Thompson to score from the center position. But Tristan Thompson, what he's going to do is is two things. He's going to uh, box out and he's going to rebound. And you have to have help with AD on the boards. I'm going to say it again. If you control the boards in this series, you will win this series. So to, for me, oh, even if you're playing him 15 minutes, because remember, they played 15 minutes and they got away with it. You know what I'm saying? That helped them because in those 15 minutes, that six, seven rebounds JaVel McGee would get you would help towards winning the game because Tristan AD would get Tristan ain't JaVel. But you know hey, what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Tristan yo, I, has I, I NBA finals experience. My, my bad, y'all. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oscar I, I Proud Jr. experience, though. My, my bad, Ron. Oscar Proud Jr. said, said this last series, don't double joker. Let AD work one-on-one or like they did. Guard Joker with others, Braun, Rui, and AD Float help. Yeah. Javinci Floresto said Jokic got the best of him, but the matchup of having AD Jokic one on one sacrificing your decent slash poor backline defense is stupid. He does everything to stop Jokic, but he has to focus on boxing. He has to focus on boxing now. Mm-hmm. 
Certified casual said, what is the reason AD receives more slander than Embiid? Joel has been, has been in street clothes more and out of the playoffs sooner. Did One plays with LeBron. One plays with LeBron. That's the reason. Mm-hmm. Well, Embiid lives rent free in your head, bro. That's crazy. Right, yeah, oh, no, 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 we don't. Hey, Mook, hey, 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 no, hey, no, bums, bums no, live no, rent free no, everywhere. No, that's everywhere. That's crazy, bro. No, he does not. That's crazy. Hey, Mook, there's a reason why he held to that standard that he held, that, that he's held to. That's don't let crazy. him, and you let him off the hook for that. You do. I ain't left him out of the hood. Look, he played bad in game seven, but dang, like I'll be acting like he the worst in the lead or something like that. God. When the, when you the, average, when the average went down 10 points in the playoffs, bro. That's sad. Every year he does this, bro. Come on, man. Mookie, well, you said you hot. said that you said that Joel lives lives rent free in our heads. I'm just trying to tell you that bums live rent free everywhere they live. Yes, they do. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So uh, on that note, we're going to keep it pushing. Hoodstar61 said that three-guard lineup will not work. MPJ is too tall. Yeah. That's another thing. He can go off off and get you 25 this series. Think about that. It wasn't really his offense that was was the problem yesterday. Like, he had 10 boards yesterday. That was the issue. A lot of second-chance points came from his rebounding. So that's a problem. Javinci Floresto with another super chat. He said, take him off Jokic, please. Got to see that sooner. And you got two other 6'9 plus guys gang rebounding. The others did not play play with enough force early. And LeBron, take a low post shot or a drive. No threes, please. Javinci, knock it off. Because James was on the box the majority of the night last night with, 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 with Jamal Murray. That's number one. Number two, and this is and this is when... Ticket starts talking this, and it resonates with everybody. Definitely resonates with me. When are we going to stop acting like a big man who's a defender can't cover another big man? Why are you letting him off the hook? Deal right. with him. Period. Please take him off of him. No. Deal with him. But AD That's your job. Yokes, bro. Knock it off, man. AD has been having, off. That's why I said AD, Hold on. AD has been having one of the greatest postseason defensive runs in NBA what? history. What? He had this is what I was saying to Mars. Me and Mars got into it, right? He hadn't had to, he did listen. Only thing I was saying to Mars and me and Mars got into it, we should never got into it over there. Is AD didn't have competition. What I mean is now you're playing elite competition. So when I told Chilltown, the Ewings, the uh the mornings, that, uh, all those Roger dudes, these dudes are gonna not only be a defensive guy like JJJ, but they're gonna come back at your ass offensively. See what I'm saying? They're gonna be able to put up 20, 25, and 10, 30, and 10. So now he's got a guy a guy who can give it back to him. So that's what I'm saying to y'all. Now you're looking at a guy like Jokic and we talk, and Chilltown saying, play your man. You got to go play your man, period. I agree. Moving along, moving along. Uh, a pimp named Slickback said, 80 had a great game, but the disrespect on Jokic is wrong. This isn't. 2020. Also saying Jokic doesn't play physical basketball is ridiculous. Go watch how he plays. Who says that? Who? Who? who, who nobody. Said nobody said that. I can tell you, you didn't hear that from nobody up here. Nobody said that about Jokic. Not saying AD had a great game, man. Darvin Ham ain't saying he had a great game. I guarantee you, AD won't say he had a great game. AD, if you ask AD right now, he said I had a horrible game because AD loves defense and he hated the numbers that Jokic put up yesterday. Trust when I tell you this. I do think that the Lakers should have been a little bit more physical on Jokic. Uh, uh, in game the ball nine. pressure, more than anything, Mook, that ball yeah. pressure. And, yeah, and they should have been a little bit you, more you, physical, especially when guy. he has – yeah, 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 especially when he has the ball on the top of the key. I feel like you should have li- immediately pressured him with ball pressure to make it more difficult on him throwing those passes, sitting those pass lanes as well. Even though Jokic is so great of a passer where you can see over the top, I think the physicality should be more asserted in this series as the series progresses on. Real talk. Well, think about you, you being a football guy, Mook. If you let Tom Brady sit in the pocket, what's going to happen? He's going to pick you apart. There you he go. That's you what, If you ain't going to get no ball pressure on Joker and that action mm-hmm. is going on off the basketball, he can just see whatever he wants and do Facts. whatever he wants. Great so analogy. Facts. You, you, you got to get some ball pressure on him. You have to. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, otherwise, this is going to be – it's going to be a repeat of it. That's all. Yep. Sweet Chili Heat 45 said, who is a bigger playoff choker when it matters the most? James Harden or DeMar DeRozan? James Harden. James Harden. <laughs> James Harden. <laughs> Mars, say it, Mars. Don't even – there's no reason to look with your face like that. Say it, Mars. 
I mean, James Harden has more expectations, so I guess you could say he chokes more, but DeMar DeRozan just plays worse more often than not. <clears> else, <throat> and so. who's that, who was that against since we on that subject? It's not just see. It's not just against LeBron. He played terribly every time he was in the playoffs. He just he lost got from LeBron. thrown out of a playoff game in the he third played, quarter. He played terribly all the time. In the third it quarter, boss. He got thrown out of a playoff game. You know what that means? I don't want nothing to do with this dude. That's what that means. It wasn't just LeBron. It was just LeBron for three, <laughs> three hey, in a row. That, that that uh 2017 game six Harden without no Kawhi, and I believe it was missing. That's the worst. That's one of the worst games I've ever seen him. Garbage. Yeah, that that was terrible, bro. Garbage. <laughs> that was that was terrible. Coach Reek, 3D Sports, said AD didn't make his presence felt early and got LA in too big of a hole. He got to be more assertive from the tip off. Forty and ten looks good on paper, though. It does look good on. Paper. I agree with that. It does. It, it does look good on paper. One hundred percent. Donovan Samuel said all Denver did was defend their home court in Game One. Not too concerned. Lakers in six. I'm concerned. I agree. I'm good, I, 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 no, yeah, I'm you said Lakers in five. That's why you're concerned. Well, well of course, I'm concerned. Not, 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 not only am I concerned because of that. Well, <laughs> shit, if, if, if Joker's going to go 34, 21, and 14, well, hold up. If that's what we'll be looking at the entire series, holy my goodness. I'm concerned about that. That is not good. I think the I think Denver's starting five. They got a hundred and I'm with you, Chill Town. I got I got, the, I got the Lakers in five. Are we looking at a hey, Chill Town. They got mad at me when I said that uh, uh, Joker destroyed AD. Was something low said, and low was so right. We got to look at the points he, he generated from them assists. So he had 34 points and 14 assists. That's like almost, what, 35 more points? It's almost 70 points. That's almost 70 points that he, that he accounted for? That's, that's insane. More point. That's almost half, That's more than half their points. And what about all the rebounds that he got other other people involved? Those rebounds. With runouts. With yeah, runouts and, and stuff like that. That wasn't assist for him, but the rebound I, kept the player alive and people scored. El- Elder, I got to tell you, brother. Elder, I got to tell you, brother. I'm good because I saw him do it against Phoenix. I'm good with Joker scoring 50, 55. I'm straight with that. We got to mm-hmm. slow everybody else down. We got to yeah. stop Jokic from rebounding as much, keeping getting them second chances, and he can't get all the assists. We have to cover their spot-up shooters. We have I think to. the game against Phoenix, I think he went 53 and, like, what, seven? I think he had, like, seven rebounds in that game. I'm and cool with that. Though. And the Lakers. And it, bam. And the Lakers transition defense gotta be better, bro. Garbage move. Better, bro. Garbage. They gotta be better. Like I know that's garbage. the flaw they like defense. Just gonna walk up the floor. Be... Yeah, Bruce man. Brown just walks up the floor, change. runs right up on D yeah, and runs right past him to get a one. It was everybody right. though. It wasn't just Bruce right. Brown. Yeah, it's the it team. Just, yeah. That's a team problem. And they've been that way all year. So I'm not gonna have an expectation of them to change that when they've been that all year. That's who they are. So I'm not gonna say they gotta get better. My thing is stop ball. How you the, the most important the most important slash the most dangerous person on the floor is the guy obviously the, the person with the ball. How, How do you the let the person with the ball? Yo, that's 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 just like letting a criminal just walk straight into your house, straight to your safe. And then walk right it. out the front door with it. the stuff. He and you don't need to stop it. He just walks right out the front door. Picked up the safe and walked out. But should but should him. That's that's what I was saying earlier. Y'all can have a 56 and you stop stop everybody else. That could work for the Suns because they got the firepower of Devin Booker and Kevin Durant. The Lakers don't have the Lakers don't have that luxury. Is all I was trying. We to got say. more firepower than Phoenix, man. What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah, <laughs> you the fight Lakers that big guy. Guy. Okay, I mean, we, guys, we can agree Durant, to disagree, fam. No Kevin Durant and, and <laughs> Devin Booker are not outscoring the Lakers team. They're not doing that. The Lakers got more firepower than Phoenix team, bro. Way the better bench. bench. They got way more better bench. No, uh, uh-uh. uh, come on, yeah. come on. Way bro. better role players. Come on. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Brandon from the block said Vandal or Rui has to start next game. Me personally, Rui should start. Lakers can't get nothing from Vandal offensively. Facts. Yeah, but his size, it, it, but 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 what we're placed for Vandal offensively is is what he can bring defensively, right? And you he bring somebody the out there that can give you lean, give you size, give you point of attack resistance. Um, you know, and he can somehow provide some somewhat of backline help of getting rebounds and et cetera, et cetera. So I do think, you know, that's the thing. He just so trash offensively. It's like Darvin Ham does not consistently utilize him enough for me. I don't know, man. I, I, I mean, I don't know, bro. A Kim Simbi said the Lakers shot 86% in the paint. That's absolutely insane. So, yes, the Lakers can continue to score a lot. That Denver defense is sorry. Let me go back to the Vandal thing real quick. 
He played 10 minutes, y'all. He had three fouls. This is what Vandal's problem's been lately. If he's going to just be a foul machine in the little time he's out there, he had he had three fouls in that little short time. He had a turnover. He had one steal, and he had one rebound. He's not offering us nothing, y'all. He didn't take a shot. <clears throat> but if he can't go out there and play good, solid defense and be a pest without fouling, because, you know, you start fouling, now we get into the bonus early. Now That's why his points. minutes is getting cut. He, if he ain't <clears throat> giving us elite defense, he can't play. And right now, he's not giving us elite defense. He's just not right now. Moving along. Next super chat from my man, Man Lynn. He said, y'all are overblowing. Pause. This Rui adjustment, AG is going to be, AG is going to become an right. off-ball screener in Jokic post-up. Also, also, they, they can also put AG in a pick and roll, pick and, roll. and they can also make AG the primary post entry passer and even more DHO action. Yeah, mm. I, I said I said that like half an hour ago. That, that's that's, that's the adjustment. Really Michael, that's that's the adjustment Michael Malone will probably have to make. But yeah, thank you for saying that again. So you saying he you stole your take or something? No, I'm uh, no, I'm no. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's common sense, but. I mean, multiple people can have the same view. I don't think it's going to work for <laughs> Javinci Floresto said, chill, listen. I mean, we look best defensively when AD mans the paint. Don't got Dwight slash McGee. The same guys do, do lack as individual defenders. They are good as a team defenders or defense. When AD mans the paint, let Jokic go. Stop the others. See, I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Like we, did, we, we, just, we just talked about it. I'm cool with that. Isha Morris said, AD went for 40 and still lost. Wishful thinking he would stay consistent against real comp this time. Or will he, got, he stay he, consistent he, against He got good looks. I'm, I'm confident that with the looks he's getting in the short roll, I wouldn't expect him to really be struggling to score. 40, probably not, but I still think... He's a lot good. of the shots that he got, sure. A lot of the shots that he got, Mars, he should get those shots throughout the series, and he should convert on those. 100%. Yeah. F Filthy said, Laker fans isn't toxic, LOL. Want to talk about toxic? Listen to Mookie talk, LOL, JK. <laughs> kind of, but Ox, you were very toxic this year with the team. <laughs> I wasn't toxic, I was right. Until you I'm said not toxic. Until so you met the Lakers. No, well, yeah, the Golden State. I mean, the Golden State, State part. You know, hey, I'm was, not toxic. Was, my, my, my team that was is not in the playoffs. That was just being optimistic, Mars. That's very, that very was, unbiased. You know my team is not in the playoffs. So, yeah, that was, that was just me being optimistic. But other than that, I was just being right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And then y'all was just hating because it was the Kings. Maybe not y'all in particular, I, but people in general. Now it's like every time I say anything, oh, you're a Kings fan. What are you talking for? Like, what does that got? You know what I'm saying? Like, they're just mad because the Kings were finally good. And y'all can't handle it. That's pitiful. <laughs> That's pitiful out of y'all. Glad they finally made the playoff. Thank, thank you. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Y'all should be happy for us. Be proud for us. Y'all should be shout, cost, shouting our praises from the mountaintops. A, That's what y'all should be doing. me a small country bag. Y'all should, should be standing on the soapbox praising the kids. We the other two. Talking uh, about we happy for y'all. Glad love. the Clippers want to back on your hands. Start appreciating. <laughs> Mo Dog says Spurs drafting Wimby is a win win. Then big old women in San Antonio will help him gain weight, and then it'll be scary hours. Churros, there's, no, there's, no, there's no guarantee that he's going to San Antonio. It hasn't, okay. it hasn't happened yet. He hasn't been drafted yet. <laughs> knock, knock it off, so Mars. No, knock it off, Mars. He, 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 ha, he has some injury concerns. He might drop <laughs> to make the pass, <laughs> but he might. <laughs> Y'all might there's trade no up for him. Is the possibility that might, that y'all could trade up for Mars? You think? I mean, Jabari Smith for the number one pick. I think that's a valid trade. You think he that's fair? Number one. Yeah, he was meant to go number one last year. You're basically so getting the number so one pick. Let's do it, right? Yeah, let's exactly. Do it. Yeah, you everybody, might as well. Houston, everybody in San Antonio front this. office is fired if that ever happens. Mm -hmm. I, think that, I think they should. Did you see? The, did you see the reaction when they got the number one pick, bro? <laughs> oh my goodness, bro! The dude act like he hit the lottery, bro. I'm like, dang, bro. He did hit the lottery. I don't know why he was so excited Literally. to just drop Scoot <laughs> Henderson. Like it was weird. Like, I don't know why. You know how much bread. Hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. Hey, look, look at this dude Avatar, man. Where did he find these pictures at, man? <laughs> hey, where did he find these pictures at, man? Look at his Avatar, dog. You got on the screen. Okay. 
Uh, yes, Young <laughs> SA9 wants to know, Mars, did you see uh, Did you see Yo, Wimby got happy when H-Town got the fourth pick? Yeah, because he knew that um, he was actually going to go fourth in the draft. He actually knows that um, teams are concerned about him being so tall and an injury risk that he might actually slide out the top three. So he, he knows what's going on. <laughs> Mars pushing that narrative, ain't he? He is, ain't he? Uh, ain't he, he that, that? Oh, what what seven what seven foot five guys have stayed healthy in NBA history? It's injury risk, so you should let him slide to foot number four. And you'll take him in a heartbeat, won't you? I mean, reluctantly, yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what Relu- I'm reluctantly, yeah. reluctantly, yeah, I guess oh, we'll I, I take should, him. Hey, I Spurs, suppose, the Spurs yeah. be getting lucky with these big men, man. I ain't gonna lie. They ain't lucky. This shit, they ain't lucky. It's rigged. That's what it is. I said that last year. They get the number one pick. Man, it's simple. Yeah, it was it was always rigged. We 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 all knew it was rigged. For yeah. David Robinson, Tim Duncan, and now Wamba Yamba. Yeah, Cleveland getting all them pick them first first player picks when LeBron left. It's yeah. I, if it's one thing in the NBA, I will listen to that people say rigged is that lottery. Now when yeah, you talk about games and all too. that, it's too many variables involved. I don't believe that one bit. But the, the lottery, that shit's real. Facts. Mm. I bet Yo, it wouldn't be rigged, Mars, if Houston got the first pick. I bet you that. I bet you that. <laughs> I mean, I don't care if it was rigged if you got number one. I'll say it was rigged. You still get Wemby. I don't care. But when it's not rigged in my favor, I'm going to complain. Uh, I am going to read a couple <laughs> more super chats, but I, I, yeah, I do want to double back because I got a couple questions I want to ask you guys about the draft. But we'll, mm-hmm. we'll get to that in a little bit. And we still also got to preview this Heat and Celtics series. But a couple more super chats. Mm-hmm. I got you guys. Let's go ahead and do this. Acro said, when I saw LeBron take that shot, I looked at my screen and said, why did you shoot that? You historically can't shoot, especially in the clutch. Le- LeBron, James shoots, Le- LeBron James sh- is shooting 23% from the three-point line this whole entire playoffs. Common sense knowing that, listen, I've been inadequate shooting the ball beyond the arc. Get to the rim. Manipulate the defense. This is the thing that I don't like. Him, Steph Curry did the same thing. And I was <laughs> I just pissed off, man. He could have, he could have, they could have pulled that game out there, man, last night, man. They had to, they definitely had them on their heels. They had it, bro. They had it. They had a bit of rolls. They did. I was like, ah. Especially, you see how bad Yoke is playing that fourth quarter. Yeah, I was like, yeah. They had it, bro. CJ the third said, AD and LeBron both outscored Jamal Murray and Joker. And that's with LeBron's bad shooting night. Me personally, Lakers low-key wasted Anthony Davis' 40 ball. They should have won that game. Not only that, the Lakers out-rebounded the Nuggets that game. I don't know how to I think he missed the fourth quarter. I think he missed the fourth quarter. Yeah, nah, you should not have won the game when you get killed on the boards like that. You get killed on the boards, you're supposed to lose. should never win a game. You you get out-rebounded by 17, ever. Donovan Samuel said, if Ham got Westbrook to buy into coming off the bench, what makes you think he can't get D'Lo to buy into coming because off the bench? Because D'Lo don't have the same situation prop to him as, as Westbrook did. Westbrook's career was on the line. He had no choice but to come off the bench or they were going to blackball his ass out the league. With D'Lo, D'Lo's a young dude that's up for a $140 million contract that can become a free agent and will go somewhere else and somebody will give him that money and you'll lose that asset for nothing. Learn basketball or don't write it all. And there you have it. Bag Fumbler said PJ Tucker was a big reason for the Heat getting to game seven. The Heat got worse and the Celtics got better with Brogdon. Heat got a way better coach, though. This series isn't going to be close. Maybe that's my hot take. It's going to be a very easy series for Boston. Miami have, I, if they win, I'll be extremely shocked because I have them having no chance of winning this. Yeah, game. this this is an easy series. Of I have the I have Boston in five. Like I don't think it's going to be a close. Series they should smoke my. Honestly, if you're looking at this series and you're looking at the weight of the Boston Celtics play, even though ticket is real, t- ticket is not. A, a you know, I won't. Time. I won't say five because Boston they they do dumb Move, stuff. They should smoke. They should smoke these dudes. They, they should Miami smoke me in six. Should, hold on, they should smoke them. But Whoa. Boston, bro, if you look at their losses, they single handedly have stepped on their own <laughs> foot, bro. And these losses, man, but making dumb mistakes, dumb adjustments, and also oh, no, man. That's Miami to lose. That's that's cocky. I, got, I, got, I, got, I think, in, in the words of I agree with y'all. Boston should, Boston should win, but I'm looking at at that old boy shooting the hell out that basketball again, and, and a coach getting more confidence in his ass. Uh, uh, Duncan Robinson. I'm looking at him. I'm looking at the porn star Max Struss hitting shots. I'm looking at Jimmy Butler doing what he do. I, man, I, hey, look, man. I don't know, man. The, the, the Celtics should win this series easy. 
But I'm gonna I'm look at this game tonight. It's, tonight's gonna tell us a whole lot about who, how this who series. Who you got winning the series? Who you got winning the series? Oh, I got Boston winning the series, but I mean tonight is gonna tell us a whole lot. Man, every time you bet against Jimmy, man, this fool do something crazy. That's what I was gonna say. Every time you think Miami is gonna do this, and they just go opposite. So everybody believing that's an easy series. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this gonna go seven. I don't know who the hell gonna win. I don't. It's gonna. Go what seven. the hell seven. are the Miami Heat doing back in the Eastern Conference Championship? They played. They played Julius Randle in round two. They got that's by. What, yeah, that, that, and they, they beat. Be. They beat the Milwaukee Bucks. The hell, that was great. That, that, that was that was great. They beat the Bucks. Giannis did miss some games, but they beat the Bucks. Credit to them. But then they got a buy in round two. So I mean. They basically got a buy because they had to play the Knicks, who I thought were going to beat them. I thought the Knicks. Yeah, was but them smoke. beating the Bucks. Like, I don't you know why had, you, you had, you had people. Was you had people win, saying that, that even without Giannis, they could still beat the Miami Heat. Like it should be easy work. You know. I thought that they. Yeah, they, 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 get, they get, No, they they are hundred percent credit for the Bucks. I want to ask. Hey, I want to ask y'all a question. I know y'all gonna get mad. This is a hot take right here, man. If Jimmy Butler is somehow to get through and win the championship this year, you are talking about way different. Legacy bigger than D Wade's in Miami. It, because without LeBron James, D Wade, no, maybe that's he only has that one chip, and then he won the other one with Shaq. Is is Jimmy's legacy bigger? Because he went, he would have went to two NBA Finals and then won one with the role players he had versus mm -hmm. not having the, the elite level talent on his team. Simple answer: Hell no. Nah. I don't think anyone's uh, gonna get more love in Miami than Dwayne Wade. That's D Wade. I know. I know, where ticket, from, I know I where, where ticket coming from. I know where ticket coming from though. Ticket get ticket too. coming from ticket coming from the standpoint of what he did with what he yeah had, straight as straight opposed over, to what yeah, as I opposed guess. to what Dwayne did with what he had. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. I, 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 I live in South Florida. Ticket. They're gonna build a statue of him outside the arena. Man. Hey, that's Wade County, baby. But I, I hear you though, ticket. Like what 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 Jimmy's done already, I think is incredible for the Heat. If he pulls off this one and even wins the championship. Well, that's I said. I said it. I don't even got the vocabulary to describe what that is, bro. Yeah. But I still is that a, don't is see it. Is that a better one? I, I, I said if he wins, wins he's nah. the second most beloved Miami Heat player of all time. If he wins, one hundred percent. If he wins, is this is this playoff run better than Giannis? What Giannis playoff run? That shit was all right. Which Giannis player? What twenty twenty one? Yeah, no, because yeah. he beat Giannis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean he I mean, beat Giannis when Giannis was number one. Yeah, I mean even though Giannis was hurt. Yeah, you got to give it to him. But I, I'm, I'm just saying, bro, if y'all really think about it, man, if he win this shit, bro, realistically, a him as a man, he would have did way more than what D-Wade did as a man. Because D-Wade needed LeBron to come over there and, and Chris Bosh to win more chips. D-Wade oh, did it before. What about O-6? Think we just forget no six? No, I'm saying he had Sha Shaq on his team still. But, and what I'm saying is this. D-Wade... No, oh, but you know, no. you know what I'm saying. All right, I'm all right, saying, no, okay, no. okay, okay. No, no, no. Think about what all you're Jimmy's doing. Hold on. Think, think about, think about this, bro. hey, Jimmy Butler would have went to two NBA finals in a five year span. D Wade never did that as a leader of the team, as a number one guy, right? He would have went to the he conference lost, finals. What? Three or four. Three. No, no, no. I'm saying if he wins this one, you looking at it like, damn, he did take him to the finals. All oh, this is oh, D Wade played his whole career with Miami. Jimmy Butler's been over there for like six years. And Darren on did what D Wade did his whole career as far as you know as the leader. No, but I, I think I, I think I think you covered it right there. I think you could argue Jimmy Butler is more accomplished in Miami, like if he wins this race. Yeah, yeah, there. that's what I'm saying. But, I'm, but yeah. I think and I think what we're arguing is they're still not going to love him the way they love Dwayne Wade. That's what we're arguing. It's because of what he did yeah. in the community and how big he was and how long he was there for. You don't like if someone wins it, if Tyrese Halliburton wins a chip with Indiana. Like in the next, they're not going to love him. They're not going to love him more than Reggie no, Miller. That's what that's the mm -hmm. stance I'm taking. Even this though he might be more. That's, 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 that's all too. That's all saying more. But this, this yeah. is also what you do got to factor in too, though. It's a new generation of kids that 10, 15 years from now they'll love Halliburton or Jimmy more than they would have loved Reggie Miller or Dwayne Wade. Maybe not D Wade. Not, not D Wade. Uh, but, maybe but, not D Wade. Reggie, but I'm talking about Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller. Yeah. It will be a young crop of kids that won't be wearing Reggie Miller jerseys. Mm -hmm. so, and they they be so to give you so to give you some context ticket really quickly jimmy butler been in miami four years and to win the nba championship because he got there in the 1920 season when they went to the nba championship in the bubble that was his first season there so he'd been there if, he, if they go to the finals this year that'd be twice in four years he'd been to the nba championship that'd be three times in four years that he'd been to the east finals jimmy butler's been an all pro and he's been an all league defender since he'd been in miami Right. So with that being said, would he be more accomplished in a four year span than Dwayne Wade was? No, I'm That's saying him. Is the, I'm saying Dwayne Wade is the man his whole career. 
in, in Miami. Every year he was a man up until LeBron came. Every year D-Wade was the man. Jimmy's career in, in Miami in that short period of time would have been better, bro, if he wins that chip. If, if, if he goes on and wins a chip this year, bro, I'm just – because he would have had to go through Giannis, the Celtics, and, Le, and LeBron or Jokic. That's insane, bro. And I told you guys last year, I was like, yo, I think he's a top five player in the world. And everybody went off and he told me I was crazy. But, bro, this this nigga in the play, bro, we listen, listen to what you just said. Yeah, that, you just crazy, said you man. thought the Celtics was supposed to wipe him out. We thought the Bucks was going to sm smash these dudes. These dudes smashed without, the Bucks. Yo, what, without Giannis, by the way. I thought they still. They, no, no, no. But when Giannis without, came back, they still smacked on their ass. So they, and then you look at the Knicks series. They, they went and handled the Knicks series with the Knicks after the Knicks had manhandled the cab. Now you, you put them in the conference finals, bro. If they beat Boston, bro, and go to the NBA finals, bro, bro, I'm telling y'all right now, man. I'm looking at Jimmy Butler, man. I'm like, because damn, dog. Real, he, you, hey, man. Would you call him the best in the world? Yeah, I was going to ask that question. Would you call him the best in the world? Yeah, he might, hey, bro, you might have to, you we might, might have to get have, up, bro. We definitely have no that that you, conversation, bro. Hey, 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 Mars, because based off the fact that he don't took this team to the NBA finals before, and remember, they went six in the finals and they was depleted. They was hurt. So two of their starters got hurt in the finals and they still I went six. So, and, and then you come back, man, bro. Something about this nigga, man. Something about this nigga, Jimmy Butler. I don't know what it is. He might get his ass whooped against the Celtics, bro. But it's something about this nigga, man. <laughs> he, the Philadelphia 76, he got made wrong decisions about him, bro. They should this, this is the type of nigga Embiid, I want on my squad, Embiid, man. Embiid said it. Embiid said it. We got the wrong dude. <laughs> he made, and, 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 and listen, I guarantee you Miami is six. I guarantee if it don't, you Miami uh, if, it don't, if it don't work out for Embiid, I guarantee you end up. I guarantee you Embiid ends up in Miami. That was different. Hey, I guarantee you Embiid ends up in Miami with, with, with Jimmy if it don't work out here in Philly. <laughs> now, now you watch for that to happen. If it don't work out here in Philly, watch him end up because his contract is going to come up and be. So watch him end up and maneuver his way to, to Miami. If he does that, yeah. I believe that, that Jimmy no, will deliver the goods. He just he just signed an extension. And then Jimmy will have to carry his. No, no, no. His contract will come up, right? So you no, telling me? Just you tell me? He just you tell me they're going. telling me they get rid of mm -hmm. Bam and, and bring it in and beat. He's not going there. He's not going there. Yo, fellas, 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 okay. we're talking mm -hmm. about the game right now. So it's about time that we put our money where our mouth is and right. go ahead. Play our pick'em game with Underdog Fantasy and put our put get get some money from Jimmy. Hey, since 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 Hemi is top five according to Ticket, let's put some top five money on him. Mm. But 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 we're not gonna start with Jimmy. We're gonna start with a role player for the Heat. Mm -hmm. Um, he's a shooter. He's a starter. And I want to know: Do you guys think Max Struess will go higher or lower than two point five threes? I, I, I chat. I put it up there. You guys said higher. I think this, he cracks this, more. I think he cracks more than two point threes. Yes, I do. You, you think he blows that out the water? I, in, in terms of made, no, 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 I don't think. I thought you meant shoot. Okay, I'm sorry. No, I don't think he he, he does. I watched him go zero for sixteen last year in the East Finals. <laughs> so no, I'm not trying to hear. That. No. All right. It's well, he is. Chat. Mm -hmm. We're relying on you guys. So Max Struess. Higher than 2.5. Like this is another day where the chat just went higher for everyone again. They, mm -hmm. they did. So the yeah. next person okay. that we're rocking with is none other than Jalen Brown. Mm -hmm. Points. It's going under. 24.5. Chad, I asked you guys. You said higher. We got JB going off in game one. Higher. Let's go ahead and do it. And last but not least, we have Jimmy Butler. Now, okay. but, but before we get to Jimmy, I do want to show this eligibility map um, for the Pick'em game. If you are in the states that are orange, you're mm -hmm. eligible to download the app and get some good money from us. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said previously, I'm going to state it again. If you put 100 in the app, we'll match that 100. So now your 100 turns into 200. That's that's that, that's that's good right there, right? It, it don't get no better than that. That sounds like heaven to me. But... Back to Jimmy Butler. I got to ask you guys up here. Points, rebounds, assists. Will he go higher or lower than 40.5? Total. Chill, I'm going to start with you. How you feeling? 40.5. That means that Jimmy's got to go 28, 7, and 7, six. 6. I could see him doing that. Yeah, I could definitely see him doing that. Yes. We got, we got one higher with Chill. Ox, mm -hmm. what you think? You saying you saying heat and six easy, Ooh. easy. 
All right, we up to hey, we got two on the higher Mars. Ox so damn disrespectful. I swear, y'all, that damn ox boy, he could be so damn disrespectful. Dude. I'm not disrespectful, but I just, I've seen I've seen enough. Once I've seen it, I'm I'm just you know I believe in what right, I saw y'all. already. <laughs> How you feeling, Mars? Higher or lower? Um, lower. Lower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Two two to the higher, one to the lower. Tiki, talk to us. Jimmy Butler higher or lower today? Mm. Valid, mm. valid. Right. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you, Ticket. <laughs> Appreciate you for chiming in. Mookie, Mookie Elder, what you guys thinking for Jimmy? Higher or lower than 40? I'm lower. Lower? All mm. right, well, Mookie, you the deal breaker. Talk to us. Lower. Lower? All right, well, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Lower for Jimmy. All right, as you guys can see, we're going to go ahead and throw in a, a modest 25. 25 to get 150. Now, now chat, I'm, you know, if, if, if you guys do want to follow in our footsteps, in your own footsteps, because you guys were the ones that voted on this, go ahead, download the app, use the promo code, the panel, put in this same exact wager on the pick'em contest, and we'll all be happy tomorrow. What's that app called? Underdog Fantasy. You don't have it yet? No, you, you you didn't use the promo code the panel. No, I'm, I'm downloading. Oh, uh, oh yeah, go, go ahead, Mookie. Go ahead and do that. <laughs> and, and Mookie, Mookie, Mookie. Once again, when you put a hundred in, we'll match that hundred. All right, go ahead and submit that uh, that wedge of first euro. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, the picks is in. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Now. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. I need mm-hmm. thoughts and predictions on this game tonight. I want to know who's going to win. Well, no, 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 no. I need thoughts and predictions on the game tonight. But before we do that, I need thoughts and predictions on the series. I know, Ox, you said six. What's everybody else's predictions? How many games does it go to and why? Boston and five. They're just a far superior team. Um, I think Bam Adebayo, his ability to, like, switch and his – reliance on his switching is going to open up the lane for the driving kicks that Boston really just live off of. And the fact that they're probably the best shooting team left in the playoffs, I mean, I don't see how Miami can really keep up with them offensively with their offense being really stagnant at times. So, mm-hmm. Boston in five. Got you, got you. Mookie, who are you taking and why? Man, what's it, what's up with this Celtics disrespect, man? I got the I got the Celtics in five or six games, man. I think, like Mar said, they they have far superior team offensively, uh, defensively, in my opinion. They're they're a much better uh, uh, three point shooting team. The ability to collapse the paint and also uh, make um, v- uh, valuable uh, skip passes, and their ability to attack closeouts that can really put pressure on the Miami Heat. Not having no size down low, um, Jason Tatum and Jayla Brown, elite shot creators that can get to the rim, that can score from all three levels. I think that um, it's really, really not uh, anybody that can stop those two, but themselves, right? I think Boston has a, a far superior bench. Um, the reason why uh, this series might go six games is because you cannot just ignore the fact that Eric Spoelstra is a good coach. He's a really, really good coach. His ability to make adjustments. Um, you know, I'm saying I thought that the series last year would go like near, near uh five or six games and end up win up seven. So, but they are without Tyler Hero, and I feel like the Miami Heat um did digress a little bit offensively. But other than that, man, I just think that Boston abilities to take advantage of mismatches is very, very underrated. Um, you know, what I'm saying they can sometimes settle, but they can sometimes punish you in the paint, especially when you got Marcus Smart who attacking those smaller guards and getting to the rim. Feasting as well, Jalen Brown, uh, Jason Tatum, uh, you know Michael Brogdon as well. So, like I said, bro, I got I got Boston winning in five or six games. If it goes seven, I wouldn't be shocked because that's how great. The only way it goes seven is Jimmy Butler play give you these 35, 37, or maybe forty point games, and you got the role players who stepping up as well. But listen, I got the um, Boston Celtics in five or six games. They're the NBA champion. And Mookie, you don't believe that, that Jimmy can continue to do this? Or has it just got to a point where it's like, all right, you can only play out of your mind for so long? I think he can continue to do that, but I just think that, uh, you know, what what's going to make it even more harder to stop Jimmy is if other guys are, you know, stepping up. Guys like Matt Struess, Gabe, Gabe Vincent, 
Um, you got Kevin Love who's hitting shots as well. Um, Bam is the X factor. He's going to always be the X factor. He's very, very inconsistent. Like He's so great defensively, but he's inconsistent offensively as well. Um, but, you know, he, he can he can do that, but I don't think it's going to be a linger effect of him doing that and they actually winning the game. I think Jimmy Butler plays out his minds, but I think that Boston just have enough to win. Chill, what are you thinking? I'm thinking that Eric Spolster is the difference in this series. He's just so good at adjustments. Right. He's so good at getting the most out of the players that he has. I mean, he puts – Gabe Vincent in positions where Gabe Vincent is effective. He's running one-on-ones for Gabe Vincent. Kyle Lowry is playing on one leg, but he's still putting Kyle Lowry in position where Kyle Lowry can be the most effective. So I think that when you talk about rotation players, the way he uses Kevin Love and him picking, popping, and him shooting the long ball, I think that that's fantastic. And the one thing that I've said to you guys in the past about Kevin Love, if he can't do anything, he can rebound the basketball. And when he rebounds the basketball the way he does, speeding up the Miami Heat's game, they're really effective. I just think that the Boston Celtics this season, I think their rotation guys for that unit, I think they're going to be the difference because I look at what Malcolm Brogdon has brought to that unit, right? I think about the fact that Robert Williams is even he- – I think Robert Williams is healthier today than he was last year. Al Harford is playing at a high level at this point. I think that they just – I think that they have too much for Miami. I think that they sh- they should handle Miami in five games. Got you. Elder, go ahead and talk to us. What's going to happen this series? Man, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it be like that sometimes. I'm feeling Elder. Trust. I'm saying it because I don't trust Boston Steel. I've been saying it for one. I'm not going to mm-hmm. change up. I don't really trust them yet. Um and who mm-hmm. knows with Miami? Every time you think you got Miami figured out, they come and do something totally different. I, other thing I'm going to say on this series, I think it's going seven. I don't know who the hell going to win, but I think it's going seven because of the, just by the way Miami is. I think it's going to go seven. Man, Elder, I'm, I'm right there with you. I think it's been me, you, and Hey, can I ask you a question? Where is Miami year? ranked? Where is Miami ranked in uh, three-point percentage in the playoffs? It was at the bottom of the league. Oh, in the playoffs. Playoff. Oh, in the playoffs. Oh, in the playoffs. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll find that for you. Hmm. Yeah, because I think part of the reason why they was they was so good last year is because they was legit one of the best three point shoot teams in the league, and they took a big digress in that too as well, especially uh, getting hit at their depth. So I want to see how they rank. When you when you when you got when you got guys like Kyle Lowry shooting better, when you got guys like Gabe Vincent yeah. shooting better, when you got guys like Max Max that's, that's fifth. That's so fifth they're in the top percentage. Team. That's, and that's, and that's, two yeah. and two teams above them lost in round one, so technically they're third. It's Boston number one, Denver number two, Milwaukee then, were number three, Atlanta were number four, and then Miami is number five. So they got yeah. they got better in the um, postseason. Yeah, they're thirty six point eight. Boston are thirty nine point five. Okay, so damn. It's not that they got better. It's just it's just the other two teams that was ahead of them dropped. So Duncan, oh, okay. Duncan, okay. Duncan, yeah. Duncan Robinson yeah. started getting PT, so they're three point shooting got better. Yeah. And Kevin Love is now there, which is another guy who can stretch the floor. And Caleb Martin can't miss. So, yo, uh, ticket, you, 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 you there? You around? You still present? I think we lost ticket. All right. Well, while we waiting for tickets, Wi-Fi to connect back again, mm-hmm. uh, I, I do want to say that me, ticket, and Elder have been the ones saying that it's just some about Boston that's just. I can't fully buy in. I can't for some reason. I, and I really can't pinpoint it. Those two might. But I can't pinpoint why I don't trust Boston. I know Bro, why. It's, it's what you call it. It's, it's, it's Big Ox, Ticket, all of these dudes telling you the same thing. It's Jason Tatum. He's the he, he's Ron, the issue that Ron. you have. Wait, you, you, said, you said you haven't been bought in on, on what, bro? Just, just, I just I, something about Boston I can't trust. Oh, right, but right, I've been right, telling right. you this for years. This isn't just something yeah. that just came up to and, came up on me <clears throat> earlier this year. I, but it's just something about that crew that I just I don't know. It's, it, it, it's Jason Tatum that the, the inconsistency of Jason Tatum that doesn't have you on the hook, Ron. And it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, but it's fine. It, but he will. Yeah, it's, it's no, but, no, no, no. But here's it's the it's thing, though, Mark. It will. My he thing will. Is, it's not just Jason <laughs> Tatum. No, too. It's, it's Jalen Brown as well. Because I I came up here and said that I think they're both ones. And they could be one B's or two A's, whatever, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. But I need J- Jalen Brown to be more consistent. Yeah, yeah. Boston cannot live with J- Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, give you these inconsistency games, uh, especially in the fr- especially if you look at it in the second round, like um, against Philly. Like Jason Tatum will have these games where in, in the first half he will just be cold, struggling, 
he still gives you some great defense production, rebounding, but then he waits to, I believe, in the second half to pick it up. They need more of him to be more consistent start to finish, man. And once you get that consistency for Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, I think more people are going to start to be more Mook, connected we can say the, Mook, We can say the same thing about Jalen Brown because Jalen Brown, he'll go 26 in the first half and you yeah. won't see him for the rest of the game. He yeah, do, he'll, he'll do the exact same thing. So there has to be some sort of balance between the both of these dudes. And again, y'all dudes know how I feel about Jason Tatum. Maybe, a lot of maybe, they, shock- maybe yeah, yeah, maybe somebody initiated. Maybe Tatum got light skin, light skin tendencies. You, who knows, man? You know. <laughs> hey, but <laughs> chill, like chill. I want to ask you, and, and and ultimately everybody else up here, I want to hear your answer to if the Miami Heat do pull this out. I don't. I don't know if it's in five, six, seven. However, it doesn't matter. What does this mean for the Celtics? They got to retool. It, it just means hey. that they have to retool. They got to come back better. I'm not. I'm not separating Jimmy Butler. I'm not separating Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. I'm not doing that. So I'm not. I'm not coming off of those two guys. You keep those guys. I feel like you keep those guys together for as long as you possibly can. I still think that they have the formula. I still think that they're right there. I think that they're better than the Miami Heat. I think they're the best team in the Eastern Conference as of right now. But if they weren't to pull this off, I'm not going to be one of those people to just let's pull the plug and let's blow this whole thing up. No, 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 uh-uh. I'm not, I'm not trying say. to hear that. Just I, mean, I, mean, I got some breaking if, news. If Miami, I got some breaking news. Don't mean to interrupt. Got some breaking news. James Harden just became a free agent. He just he just declined to stay with the Philly. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's he wants right to do. Yeah, so, so, so he passed. So he passed. So he passed, so he, right he passed, he passed right on that player option. In if he if he if he goes to Houston, my fandom is done. I'm just letting everyone know. You out? Yeah. I would never support the Rockets. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I thought. I thought. If he goes I, thought to Houston, the move, I, I thought the move that Boston, I mean, not Boston, but Philly made to fire Doc Rivers because, you know, James Harden and Doc Rivers was uh, beefing. I thought that, that that move right there was sit there and say that we want Harden to stay, right? And I thought it was more of a desperate move on just to get rid of Doc Rivers. You think because, it was a knee-jerk uh, James, Yeah, because James Harden just don't want to play with Doc Rivers. So I thought that was going to be the move for letting James Harden stay. Now that he's out, I mean, dang. That don't mean he, I mean, he, I he think, can still, he can still, he, he might, he might have just, he might have just declined and because he wants a, yeah. a, a long deal. He might still he just want that, Philly. He was definitely coming out. Y'all remember that was that two years, 60. Remember, he wasn't taking that second year or that low of a number. So let me make sure I'm going to, let me make sure yeah, I'm understanding y'all correctly. Next, he just might let, let me make sure I'm understanding y'all. Just so y'all know, he signed for less money last year in Philly. So yep. now what you saw in the playoffs, what idea gives you, what gives you the idea that they're going to extend him for more money? At the age that he's at now, because they got rid of um, Doc. Go down you know, in the house. What up? He, he's only here to Doc. push Jokic's propaganda. He doesn't care about this game card and stuff. He doesn't. Care. <laughs> hey, before before he gets well, no, there, because they, they don't they don't have they don't have an option. They don't have an option but to yeah. And, mm-hmm. yeah. and and Low has a new name, by the way. You guys are dressing as such. Address him as such. Low, 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 low kids, I like it. Hey, but hey, but chill time, real. Yep. Chill time, real quick. Back to back to what you were saying about JB and JT and splitting up and whatnot. If the Celtics lose this series to Miami, Jalen Brown is going to be shopping for real estate in Granite Bay. <laughs> no, he will not. Mm. It will be in Bankhead. It will be in Bankhead because he's coming home. That is a suburb of the city of Sacramento. No, 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 no. It will be in Bankhead. He'll be calling real estate agents in Granite Bay. Chat, it'll be in Bankhead. Maybe Greenhaven. No, it's Bankhead. He was coming home to Atlanta. That's where he's from. He's coming Or he's staying. He's not leaving any of that money on the table in in Boston, he's staying in Boston. How come he went to Berkeley? He loved California. So oh that black gosh. that boy better take his black ass to Roseville if he knew what was better, best for him. <laughs> but Rockland, right? Rockland, no, no. Roseville, Granite Bay, whatever. El Dorado Hills, we, we, we accept you. Come on, he coming JB. To, he coming to Sandy Springs. Y'all, I'll see you. I'll see you in the in the in the gated community, JB. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it, man. <laughs> Hello, about you it. in Georgia too? Yeah, I'm in Georgia. Yeah. In Lozier. I'm in Northwest Georgia. Love something else. Northwest. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm in the mountains. I used to live. I used oh, to live wow. in Sandy Springs, though. I used to live there. I'm not too far from there right now, Sandy Springs. 
All right, Lo. What what you want to do first? You you want to push your agenda? You want to talk about the game, or what? you want to talk what? about the, the, the stuff that keeps? Hey, Lo, stop uh, acting uh, like uh, Lo. Stop acting like 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 like, like no, you slow. You know here. you know what it is. Come on, give first it. First of all, Mars, man, what a night for you, bro. Your terrible team, night. your team not getting a top three pick is crazy. Yeah, terrible. yeah, we go ropes. It's fine. No, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, you're right. You're right. It is fine. You're right. Let's right. losing. What's good? <laughs> oh man. Nothing but you know top five offense. Low, uh, low, low. Much. Before you get started, low. James Harden just left another franchise in shambles, bro. Bro, he's Philly not, he's not leaving. He ain't going no he's not going. Philly, anywhere. bro. Bro, he's he just turned thirty six and a half million dollars down. What do you mean? Yeah, because he wants they a contract. Pay him more. Yeah, so he so he can get four years. Hold on, money. you think? Hold on, hold on. You think yeah. Philly's getting ready to give him a big a big yeah, deal? Not. Yeah, After not. that, you don't, I don't no. think so either. After that, yeah, that, that, that would be dumb. Yeah, again, hold on, 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 hold on. Now Chilltown just told me nobody was willing to pay James Harden that money. That's what Chilltown just argued with me the other day in front of Ron as our witness. Ron was the judge. His ass went right to court. Nobody would pay him that ticket. You're not listening. It doesn't have to be the large money. He just wants a longer contract. He's looking for an extension. So he wants what do you think they would give him? Money. Ooh, they're probably gonna give him 35 a year. Five years. Oh, wow. So we're so, so, so we talking, about, so we talking about a three, so we talking about a three-year, like four. 90 million dollar deal. No, a hundred something. Four. Probably three four, 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 he took la he, he last year because this year he, this was a two year deal for like sixty something million. So he took less money to sign this deal, and with the performance that he just had, Philly's going to extend him for more years and more money. Yes. That's what they they're going to do. They don't have an yes. option. Yes, why not? They're going to do that. They already blamed up. That's why he gone. I they told you, Jill Sound, you want to sing a boy? I told you, man. I told you that fool's going to get his free, money, man. Free. The free agency class this year is agreed is a bad free agency class. Actually, outside of James Harden, Kyrie might be the best option. Like, there's not that many free agents out there. Um, they don't have like there's there's no uh, there's no other plan moving forward. The only thing that we were talking about before the, the way that they'll actually get cap, they'll act, it'll be one or two things. He could potentially do uh, one plus, get as much money this year. Which is this actually what Chris Paul did? Get one as much money this year and next year yep. be a player option. Mm -hmm. And the way you, the only reason why you do that is because next year Tobias Harris is coming off the books. He got forty million coming off the books. So next season you can have a um 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 a TV money kick in too. Yeah, you have some flexibility. But that we've already. But he's not. They don't have an option. I mean, the, I mean, when I say the only genuine option I can see them having is if Portland says we have the third overall pick. Dame, it's time. It's time that we we really shop you. That's that, but that's literally the only thing that I can see. Hey, low, but with Houston not getting the top three pick, see, that's their fear there because they can offer James the full boat. Houston can offer him the full boat. So Philly gotta add. They gotta pay him, or he going to Houston. Yeah, Mars, he could be going back to Houston. Oh, yeah, I'm not a Houston fan of James Harden. No, 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 you're going to stay a Houston fan, bro. Who are you to tell me what I'm going to do? You have to They're going to pay him. Philly's going to pay him. have to do anything. They showed that when they got rid of Doc. Well, you can't even stay a Laker fan. How are you going to make him stay a Houston fan? No, I'm I'm going I'm going straight to OKC if if James Harden goes to Houston. That's his third team. That's Mars third team. He's not he's not with him. He wants to be a Warriors. Okay, I'm so sick of Mars. Okay, OKC. I've had it with you, Mars. Straight to OKC. Unbelievable. I'm so sick of Mars. I can't handle it. All right, hey, so, Mars, so, Mars, so you might, you might, you might want to come like the Bean fan. No, no, definitely don't do that. No. Um. All right, all right, Ron, you're right. We can we can we can get this. What's up with your this, boy? This, this Jokic, this Jokic propaganda off, I guess. First and foremost, putting eighty on him, terrible decision. Just terrible, just terrible decision. He can't defend him at all. Just can't. He can't. He's not going to do it. He just can't do it. And also, um, my goodness, you know what's so crazy? I went back and rewatched the conversation that we had two days ago, and everybody in here we was like on board with the idea of either Vando or Rui, start Vando or Rui, and then having conversations on how to how to defend AD. And the only really discussion that we had on the defensive scheme was how to put like who are you going to put on Jokic? Is it going to be AD or another big? Even thought about the idea of putting LeBron on him. 
There was nobody in here who told themselves, "Hey guys, we really should start a three guard lineup." That that never that never approached yeah. anybody's <laughs> mental. And for yeah, whatever right. reason, Darvin Ham has a whole coaching staff, and that's what they did, bro. That is insane to me. That's insane to me. That's crazy. Call some the game. But I and I do agree. And he didn't go into the he didn't go to the Rui matchup until. Late in the third, going into the fourth, that was crazy to me. That made absolutely no sense. I think um, Rui really should have started halftime. Yeah, now, now, hold on, now, low, now, low. With that being low, with that being said, before you came on here, these buffoons set up here and said that oh, well, the Lakers can make adjustments. The Lakers shot forty six from the three. Elder says he think they can do that again, and they're saying that oh, they don't really think. They, they, they're really making it seem like, oh, well, the Lakers are the ones that can make all the adjustments and that and that if they do this Rui thing, it can just potentially lock up Jokic. Now, what's your thoughts on that, uh, Legend of Winning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead to hey, your thoughts, bro. Oh, Go ahead to your thoughts, Lo. It won't, uh, be, no, it won't oh, be no adjustments. Low, 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 low. Don't comment yet because you know how Ticket puts sauce on shit. Not yes, one he does. person in here yes, said he anything does. about locking up Jokic. Nobody, Nobody said that. that. Not one oh, of them. They said they they said they even have to they 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 have to minimize his playmaking or his scoring. You can't Yeah, well we said let, him, do let him be more of a scorer and take his his rebounds and assist down some. That's oh, how you beat him. So well, low, think that's, of, that's low, what, low before I, you that, answer that. Low. I want to be clear though. That's what I said 2 days ago. So that's I've I've already yeah, yeah. Right. I, I said low. that two days ago. Just yeah. let him score. But, so no, that, no, no. That but does Roy yeah. help you more do that, Low? Does them playing Roy on him because they're saying that Aaron uh, Gordon is going to get exploited? Go, go ahead, Low. Yeah, it will do that because he's just going to score on Rui. The, the, and I don't know why. And and Dale's not here. But like, there's this like obsession with the idea of like the best defender has to defend the best offensive player. No, if the best defender is a roamer, then allow AD to do that. The reason why we lost on the boards and the fact that he was able to do the things that I said he was going to do, which is score and facilitate, is because once more, he pulled 80 out the lane, passing lanes were all available for them to cut to the basket, and then when he's doing dribble handoffs, there's no one helping him. So he was able to get off crazy amount of assists, crazy amount of rebounds, while still being a quality score because AD is like 50 pounds lighter than him. He's not going to be able to stop him. So, yes, put Rui on him. And make him beat him just simply off of scoring while AD cuts off all the other um, cutting lanes and driving lanes from everybody else by roaming around the basket, which will cut down his pa pa passing and playmaking. That Who is AD? Darrell Reeves? <laughs> AD? AD been doing like, that. He just, he, just play, he, just, he, he just, I mean, come on, he's Ty Law. AD has been doing, doing that all, AD has been doing that be. all playoff long. AD has been doing that all playoff long. He all has right, been. Lucas, you got it, Joe. 80, 80 has been doing it all, all playoff long. So that's that will be the best way to actually defend him. Now, I'm not saying that's the way to win because there's other things they need to do, but that's the best way. The, also, on the other side, the way they defended LeBron, I was very disappointed in um, Denver. They're probably going to make an adjustment. They're probably going to have him. They're, they're probably going to have to have um, – what's his name? Um, um, Jamal Murray defend Dennis Schroeder. So when LeBron starts to pick on Jamal Murray again – they're switching um, Schroeder, or they had they'll leave Schroeder open instead of Austin Reeves because Reeves got open for like two or three open looks and knocked him down deep in the um, fourth quarter. That probably will not happen moving forward. They're probably going to put Jamal on Schroeder and then did make Schroeder. Reeves, did you say Reeves low, or did you say? Okay, I mean, I'm you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah put, Reeves, right? They, 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 they had they had Jamal right. and Reeves last night, mm -hmm. and that's how Reeves got open for those threes. They're probably mm -hmm. going to put um, Jamal on Schroeder. And so when they start picking on Jamal again, mm -hmm. Murray's going to be leaving over Schroeder for those threes, and he's not going to make those threes as often as, as um, Reeves is making them. That's probably going to be their adjustment, and they're probably just going to defend that way better as well because they were switching way too early. Mm -hmm. it's, it's LeBron. Like, I don't know why they were switching that early in the first place. Did you see um, – did you see – did you see, Lowe, when they had James at the top with the ball and Aaron Gordon was covering him, you get – um, Jamal Murray, they're trying to get Jamal Murray in a screening. They try, they're trying to get Jamal Murray in a switch action, mm -hmm. and they get Jamal Murray in a switch action, and Jamal Murray is screaming at Gordon, like, come back yeah, over come here. Come back, come <laughs> back, come back. 
I don't know why they switched that early. Yeah, they, that they, was, they were conceding that switch way too easy. Way like, too get back easy. over here. No. They, they were switching like he was like like Steph Curry. I'm like, you don't have to switch that early. It's LeBron. He's not pulling up from three. I don't which know why is, they're not just going under. Like, if you I don't know why they're not just going under. Concede. But Which is crazy because LeBron was actually getting what he wanted to. So that shot he took at the end was crazy. That was a crazy shot. He should not have taken that shot. Um, He's not especially correct. especially when um, he had five fouls. Jamal Murray had five fouls. But it's, it's going to be a really, really great series. I just no, – uh, Hold on, low, hold on, low. Yeah, now, Edder says, Edder says Denver can't win in L.A. Do you agree with that? I don't know. Denver can without a doubt win in L.A. Without a doubt they can win in I know. I don't think Denver is going to shoot as well as they did, but I without a doubt do not think that – I can't bank on the idea of, of the Lakers shooting as well as we just did. I just don't. There's just no way. And we're going to have to just win simply off of the fact of slowing down really everyone else because I don't think there's a way to really slow down Jokic. I think he's that special of, of an offensive talent, but I've been telling y'all that all year. You got some action off the basketball that they the Lakers run this play between Anthony Davis and uh, Austin Reeves. It's on the left side of the floor. They run this play between Anthony Davis, Austin Reeves, and LeBron James, where Anthony Davis is a, it's a pin down with it, it's a back screen with with Austin Reeves, and what Austin Reeves does is he comes back around and he curls, and then Anthony Davis comes back and sets another screen, which pops Austin Reeves out to the three, where he's wide open. This action, I think they ran that play probably two or three straight times. That's where Austin Reeves ended up getting that three-pointer. That that play right there, I was really impressed with that with Darvin Ham. That looked like something that like just got drawn up on the spot. Yeah, they, they had some, but the problem with Darvin is that he kind of, he'll do it, and then it just, he won't keep going to it throughout the remainder of the series. Right. Because we, we ran double drag sets um in the Memphis series, I believe game three or four, he yeah. just stopped going to it. And D that's how D got going in that series. Um so yeah, it's tough. It's a tough loss, very, very tough loss. But hold on, um, but, but hold on, hold on, Lo. But who, who do you still predict to win this series? You still have Denver to win the series. I don't think I don't think I don't think that Darvin is um I don't, I don't think I mean not even really that he's not a good enough coach. He really also doesn't just doesn't have the pieces to really slow down Jokic. He just doesn't have it at all. I just, and I don't, I don't, I don't think so. So Wendy and Gabriel just doesn't exist. That's what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Okay. Well. You're true. That's, you're that's, that's a W. So, so basically, that's a w w w base, hold on. Base, you're taking Jokic against the field, low. You're taking Jokic against the rest of the field. I think Jokic in his offense is just too, too. It's just too. Dynamic. No, I'm saying you're taking Jokic in the nuggets against the rest of the field that's left. Oh yeah, no, I do think the um, Nuggets. The only the best team that can stop them would be the Celtics. Um, but then it's like I'm trusting Jason Tatum, and I don't. So you have Denver winning the chip. I do have Denver. I think Denver's the best team left. Oh, I don't want to hear the agendas you're going to have when if he wins. Jesus. Okay. I'm you Mars. already know what it's going to be, Mars. 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 Yeah, you, you, you already know. know. Mars, you, 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 you already know what it's. Gonna be. Mars, you, you already know what it's going to be. Do you think yeah. the Lakers can shoot? But what like shoot good from the three like they did last night in another game, and maybe one more game, yes. But I can't make that like a, a normal thing. Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah, know how often games. we shot that well. They had two. I'm looking down. They had two game, two good shooting games against Denver from the three, and three against Golden State. So that, I, that well, they that they'll never shoot that good again. That's why I say I don't understand what Ticket talking about. Go back and look at the stats. But we had reached. good shooting three point games. That three against Golden State, I think he shot 37, 48, and 50. Go look. That's from and you got that, And you got that within the offense, too. Like, you didn't start yeah. playing fast like Golden Denver State did. Right? To stop. I think the Lakers can shoot the ball well in multiple games is what I'm saying. They can I'm, shoot I'm, the ball well in multiple games. I'm just but having a difficult – I'm just having a difficult time with the logic of – not being able to stop Joker. We won't have to stop Joker. Ain't nobody stopping Joker. But we got to slow down some of that able. other stuff. We got to slow down some of that other stuff that he does. So if Joker goes for 45, Joker goes for 50. Okay, that's fine. We'll eat that. But with that being said, we can't have Joker go 42 or 52, 21, 24, and 17. No, the other stuff has to get minimized. Now, the way you do that is you got to put him on the defense like Anthony Davis was doing. I saw him get discouraged defensively when Anthony Davis was knocking down that elbow jump shot. I saw him get discouraged when Anthony Davis was on the baseline hitting hooks. I saw him get discouraged with that. The other stuff has to change. I mean, Ticket did bring up a Ticket did bring up a point early in the show when we talked about how Joker came out and just basically 
controlled the glass. I mean, he had, what, he had 12 boards in the first quarter. Now that stuff has to change 100%. How I don't does think you can change. I don't think you're gonna. I don't think you're gonna. You think you have twelve rebounds in the first? I don't not, think not. Not twelve, but he's gonna continue to control this this series on the gold board. That's not. That's not I, I, changing. But uh, the, the the thing, the reason why I'm having a problem with that is because I've seen Anthony I, number one. I've with, seen a, Anthony, with AD roaming, I think he'll be less dominant on the. And not only and, and not not only that, the Lakers gang rebounding. When the Lakers gang rebound, which they didn't do in in the first they in the first like half, and and in the first half they didn't do that. That's gonna change moving forward because number one. Rui's going to be more involved. Rui's going to be more in the game as a bigger guy. With Rui being more involved, you got guys like MPJ, you got Gordon, you got Joker, and you got KCP. When you got that three-guard lineup out there crashing the backboard, of course they're going to get dominated on the backboard. So I think that that has to change. There's no way that there's no way that they could survive with Joker going 40, 20, and 15. They can't because that means that he's that means that so many other things are going on. So if you could slow down the other things with Joker, I think that they got a shot at this. In five games, right? Yes, that's what I had. Five? Yes, I had this was this was yesterday. I had him in five games. So oh boy. So yep. do you still have the Lakers winning the next four? He got to. He ain't well, got no other to change it to Lakers three. in six. Yeah, I think Elder, Elder had six. I remember Elders, but five. Six, and I got him one in the next three. Oh, I so Denver in game and five. Then up. The two at home. Yep. Yep. I, I, I had Denver in seven, and I'm probably going to stick with Denver. In seven. I, I had Dem- Denver in six or seven, yes. That ball pressure's got to pick up, man. It has to. That ball pressure on Joker on the wing has got to pick up. It has I to. Why? I think if, you, if you apply ball players. pressure, when he runs that dribble handoff, Jokic is going to have, he's going to be free in the short roll. Yes. I mean, who's gonna be who, who's gonna be free on a short roll? Jokic. If you if you apply ball Fine. pressure and Jokic turns that into a dribble handoff, because of Let because if you're playing shot. at the if you're playing at the level, right. that would free right. up Jokic in the short roll. And if you take right. Jokic in the short roll four on three, right? I mean, I think you're gonna lose. Me right. personally, I think you're gonna lose. Which, which, which does which does make sense. Now the problem that I'm having, Mars, is where he's just standing there holding the basketball and there's action going on all over the place and there's no action with him. Make he's just on the. That. He's just on the wing, and it's just him and Anthony Davis, and there's KCP diving to the basket. There's Aaron Gordon setting back screens on the weak side of the floor. There's stuff like that going on, and Anthony Davis is just in front of Joker. That has to be more. There has to be more ball pressure there because what you're doing, if there isn't, is you're just letting him pick which way he wants to go. Now, when you're talking about dribble handoffs, now, of course, I got to stay as close to Joker's body as I possibly can, but I also got to give guys like – Dennis Schroeder, I got to give them room to get through. I got to give guys like Vando, I got to give them room to get through. I got to do that. But when he's on the wing and he's by himself and it's just Anthony Davis, the ball pressure has to pick up. But he did that and he got blown right by. Once. Yeah, he did. He got blown right by. I vividly remember when that happened. He was yeah. literally playing. He pressured him. He was throwing his hands up to try to Dunked stop the pass hands. and got right by him and dunked him. That's right. Oh, on, 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 the, on the spin move. Right. On, on, no, no, on no, 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 no. It wasn't oh, the no, spin. No, 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 no. He went around him on a triple. He went, he went right on the left by him. Yeah, right. And, and, and again, it, well, well, wait a minute, though, Lo. That has to change. That's where the effort <laughs> comes in. <laughs> That's where the effort Yo, comes. That, that's maybe where the you just comes. can't stop. You can't. I'm about to say this. This. That's what I'm saying. And I. And I'm not. I'm. Tr- I'm trying not to be frustrated. But it's like, you're. You're asking AD to put pressure while still recovering, still defend him on the shot, and all, like can't do that. You. It's. Why it's am I, why, why am I ridiculous? Why am I ridiculous? To, this is. The, this because is regarded this, as the best. Not a player in NBA history this, outside this of Hakeem who could do this that. Is the, this is the best defender in the game. He's not Hakeem. No, he isn't. No, no, he's not. But I, and again, I'm not saying stop him. But I mean, at some point, we have to be able to just at least slow him down for stretches. He can't I just do whatever he wants the entire game. It's, it's easier said than done. I think that's it. One hundred percent, it is. One hundred percent. It's, it's much easier for us to say, "Well, you should try to do this and then do this." In in practice, it doesn't really go that way. The like he tried these to, things and it just the, didn't work. The slowing down has to come from him crashing the boards, not getting the offensive boards, keeping it alive. I think Denver took what 10, 11, 12 more shots in the leg. You can't have all that. Slowing down on the boards. You can do that by gang rebounding, having bigger guys in there, more athletic guys like Rui and LeBron going to rebound. You can do that. Slowing down by passing, by putting the longer guys in the passing lane, making him become more of a scorer. I'm with the 50 points and seven rebounds because if he gets seven boards and five assists, we're winning the game. I don't care how many points he scores. Them other guys aren't getting going then. That's how you beat them. I'm cool with that. 
He can't yeah, max that, out, that, though. He can't be max points, max rebounds, no. max assists. He no. cannot, and we will be – we're losing four. And we yeah, keep no you won't win a game. We're losing you won't. four. You won't win one game. That's fair. 100%. And, and so that – and that's what I was saying two days ago where, like, putting 80 on him – doesn't make any sense because it just opens up way too much. And then you're allowing everybody else to go. AD can't help on the dribble handoffs. Like it's just it's ridiculous. And and again, I just be wondering like what Darvin Ham and his coaching staff be seeing. Cause there's there's no way that in all of us in here, there was not a single person who discussed the three guard lineup. And that's no. what he threw out there. No. And we had genuine conversations. We don't we're not, we don't have no statisticians. We ain't got no coaching staff. We're not looking at footage. Because none that's of us just, saw that, Lo. None of us was like, that's yeah, a good that, idea. That, yeah, that was that was an interesting lineup. Yeah, that's, just, that's just common I, sense. Only thing to me that made sense on that, and I thought about this this morning, last night I couldn't figure it out, is the altitude issue, which you could see they looked like they had freaking mud in their boots. You know what I mean? They were just two steps behind. And – Denver loves to run. They love, especially love to slap you at the beginning of the game, running fast. So I think he might have figured if I got guys that can run in there, we may be able to control that a little bit. That, that's yeah, that's what, that's, what yeah. That, that's what maybe, I thought. Maybe, but even case, but. but even when we was talking about the Rui thing, we we also agree like that's a matchup problem. Like, okay, it who's going to match up? But then if he's you good in then, transition, yeah. But but then he did the opposite for the Lakers because now he has Austin Reeves chasing MPJ. Michael Porter Jr. was just shooting over chairs in the first half. I was like, <laughs> like, what are we doing right now? Like, he literally did the exact opposite thing that we were talking about. And I'm wide like, bro. Too. And then, yeah, they wide were wide open, too. shooting over chairs. KCP coming off, shooting over somebody who's two inches shorter than him. I'm like, bro, come on. Or not man. even anybody close. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm yeah. watching this. I'm thinking these to myself, wide open shots. these dudes get whatever they want. Open. They get whatever wide they want. Open, what what, what was, are we doing here? I think the concerned. reason why we're hearing so much more Laker just because they were the ones getting torched last night. Right. Yeah, the majority there's... of the game. Why do a team need to adjust when they're getting every single thing they want? And they, they, when you're executing at a super high level like Denver was, what's to adjust? This team has to adjust. Then when they do something that throws us off, then Denver can make an adjustment. But that's why we're not throwing up many adjustments for Denver because, shit, they, they got what they wanted last night. I saw, you... I saw practice, bro. I saw so – I don't know that if first half was practice. that yes, many wide-open shots in a playoff yeah. game. Just no contest. I was like, yeah. ugh. And it's a Darvin to the end of the third. Well, I'm gonna say this around real quick, real quick. I know we got What's it. What's up? You got it. You got it. No, just real quick. Game two, you all will see why Jokic is a top five offensive player of all time. Because even with that Rui matchup, he's going to torch Rui. Even though, yes, technically speaking, he should not be able to get all passes. He's going to start running four or five pick and rolls. He will be the ball handler in a pick and roll setting, and he'll be torching Rui left and right, floaters, throwing lobs to Aaron Gordon. They're going to run horns action at the top of the key to get both of them involved. They're still not going to be able to defend it then. And then everything goes crazy. They might throw Jeff Green in the lineup and have uh, Anthony Davis try to defend Jeff Green, stretch him out to the three-point line, and then he will cook Rui in the, in the post. And then we're going to come back here, and I'm going to have to look at everybody and tell you that's why he is unguardable. I'm telling you that's what's about to happen. But we'll see. We'll see. You With spit, that being you said. Spitting you spitting, though. That adjustment ain't going to do nothing to Jokic next, it's next not, series. Unfortunately, it, it might, it's not. It ain't going to do nothing but hey, make hold it bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want y'all on record. So, I understand. Jokic is going to – I believe Jokic – you can't stop him scoring. He's an elite scorer. You can't stop no elite scorer. You think Jokic is going to put up the same type of game he put up in game one? No, not the same exact one, but he's still going. He's still going to end the night, twenty to thirty points, ten plus nine to ten nine plus assists, and the rebounds. He's still going to get um like twelve, twelve to fifteen, twelve to fifteen. He's still going to get twelve uh, uh twelve rebounds. Yes. Oh my God. I think we win this game if he gets say he gets thirty, twelve, and nine. I think the Lakers win. Honestly. I think the Lakers win. Oh yeah, the Lakers can still win. I'm just yeah. talking about if he gets stopping 30, Jokic. 12 and nine, like you just said, they the, still win. I I I, I want to be on record too, Low. What I want to be, I want to be on the record. I want to be on record too, Low. Nobody here is saying that Jokic, and even in the chat, anybody that would say that Jokic can be stopped, no, you're goofy. You're, you're, you're straight goofy. The idea is to make it difficult on him and possibly slow him down. That's that's the idea. That that's it. Because we're not going to stop him. I know. And again, Moss, it's easier said than done. But that is the idea. I don't think you slow him down as much as you just make him change how he kills you. 
Like, I think you just, you change the weapon. He, he, he shot you in game one. He's just going to stab you in game two. That's what I think. That's what I think Lowe is and saying. You, and, you, and you have to just weather that storm however it comes. And so, yeah, I agree. Maybe you don't want to get beat over the head with a bat. And you might just want to get stabbed next game. That's fine. But just know you going it's, it's going to happen. Like, it ain't, ain't nothing. It's, it's going to happen. My you thing is, out of the way. I'm, I'm just like, yo, Jokic, you could do all of that. We're just not going to let you beat us in transition. It's no way we're well, yeah, going to let you go A, He was out running AD. Yeah. That, that was something was, I was told that wouldn't happen. That was something I was told that wouldn't happen. I was told that wasn't happening either, and right he here. did it. Right if I'm Darvin Ham, I'm losing my mind. But the Lakers have been a why, terrible why, transition why, defense. I'm going to say, why yeah. do y'all think, why do y'all think, first of all, yeah, the Lakers have been terrible. Why do y'all think that Jokic is like this bumbling idiot who can't run up and down the floor? No, you're, you're right, though. You're I right. I like, mean, I, I heard no, 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 no. Ron, about, like, Ron, Ron and a couple of them oh, throughout, they, throughout they, the, oh. the, yeah, throughout this season, I tried to explain to people transition. They were like, oh, he can't get up and down the floor. I'm like, oh, okay. All nah, right. low. I get that, though. I get that. But check this out, though. I'm going to give it to you vice versa. Pause. How many times did AD? How many times did AD beat Jokic down the floor? Oh so no! You, I, but nobody's questioning that though. But no, no one's that's what that. I'm trying to say though. So if AD didn't beat Jokic down the floor on the offensive end, how in the hell is Jokic beating you down the floor on the offensive end? I, it was plenty of times where AD would shoot a shot, would miss it, and it just sit there and just kind of pout for a second. And, and, then, if, and, and at that point, Jokic is, Jokic is damn near already at the basket. But I'm like, bro, you that's can't AD, do that. That's, that's been AD and LeBron for the past Dude. four years. That can't happen. It just, I, it was, just, I was about, about to say all season long. I was, but, uh, I was like, I was about to say all season long, but yeah, that's been like that's, that's been that that's been the Lakers. Those, that's been those two players for like four years now. Like, like for real, if, if I'm Darvin Ham, I'm, I'm literally keeping a chart. I know. AD, I know. how many times do you beat him up the floor, and how many times does he beat you up the floor? If 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 he beats you up the floor more times in this game, any game in the series, we lose. I'm he gonna just be, break it down to eighty. Like he that. won't be we when you're Gabriel up the floor. I say that. Why, hey, why Mars, you, knock it off, Mars. Why? Mars, okay. You, Mars, you guys are going to say they need to put more bigs. Why, why, why can't you just uh, believe in the fact that Jokic is probably just more athletic than you realize and he can't beat no, him up? I can get floor. that, but this is what I'm saying though. Whether that's the case or not, it's no way. It's no way that he can beat AD up the floor, but AD can't beat him up the floor. Why? Because what? Why? Why is he beating AD up the floor? He's he could just be more. He, he runs faster. He just run faster. No, no, no. I think it's just the fact just... that he's running as fast as he can, and AD's not. AD's jogging and he's running fast. That's all. AD didn't get it. No, I can I can agree. I'm not saying you. No, I can agree, I, but I, it's, it's almost. I think I think Jokic's transition game has been underrated for a very long time. AD's clearly beating him down the court every well, time. It, he not... wasn't giving the effort, and Jokic was. But yeah. let's keep it real. Jokic got worn out in the fourth quarter, and AD wasn't. AD still had a little bit left. So by the fourth quarter, Jokic was tired too, y'all. He was tired. Him and Jamal Murray were both tired in that fourth quarter. They were tired. Jamal Murray, I agree. I don't, I don't know if Jokic was tired. You don't think Jokic was tired in that fourth quarter? I think, I, yo, I think Jokic and them I, were I don't know. more so tired. I think, and I will say this, if Darwin can do this, if he can continue to throw, which is we said this uh, as well, Darwin has to just throw at multiple bodies and different looks. Bingo. Because yo, Jokic does do this thing where – he gets to commit it one way or the next, and I think that's a separator between like Tickets Jokic and then like the the Magics, the Lebrons, the Curries, like who can like on the fly adjust. Matt Jokic does this thing where he gets like he if he's passing, he's a little bit too pass happy, and he starts making passes like you could just have shot that you didn't have to pass that. Or there's times where like he's looking for a shot and like he does he may he may miss a pass because it's just a lot that he's trying to contextualize at one time. But if you give him the things that he knows he's trying to go for, then that's where things kind of get kind of messed up. So you have to continue to throw bodies. And so I said it to say when the Rui minute came minutes came out there, he was he wasn't getting the same things that he was looking. It was one time he threw a lob and AD just swatted it. I'm like, that was like a very like you could you could clearly see AD standing right there. I don't know what you're trying to do. He was still passive. But man, that man is that man is special, man. He is. The more I the more I watch Jokic, every time I see him do something amazing on offense, I just go back to Chill saying Yanis was better than him offensively. Oh man. <laughs> like, so, I just be like, wow, I can't believe someone thought that. Right. It's so crazy to me. But but can you can you give me some credit, Mars, that I watched no. and then I realized oh, oh, this, okay. is oh, this is what I'm asking. Yeah. This is what I'm asking. <laughs> can you give me some credit? And when I watch them and I go, wait a minute. 
what were you thinking right there? <laughs> because no, he's not as good as this guy. No, he is. Yeah, it, I mean, you realize you didn't just stay. I did. You didn't just no. stick to it because you didn't. Want I don't to care. Him. Giannis is a better offensive player. What are you watching? Are you watching <laughs> the same thing that I'm watching? Because there's no way you think that, and you and I are watching the same thing. Because no, he isn't. He is not, and it's not, not closed. Close. It's not close. So yes, I had to walk that back. So <laughs> let, 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 let's let's get off there. Let's get off of that. <laughs> not even close, man. Not even close, man. Yo, Chad, I just posted a poll. I asked, can Jokic be stopped? You guys answer that and let me know if you guys think that there's any way Jokic can be slowed down. Oh, well, Elder, do you agree now that AD, because you were the one who was on the put AD on Jokic bandwagon? And you thought no, was... I said we, we want to see that. You got a great defender and you're a great offensive player. That's what you want to see. You Again, said that he could hold him to 45%. Yeah, he didn't do that last night. <laughs> <laughs> again, hold on, hold on. Time out. That was tough. Again, I, just like you saw from game one to game two and the other one, that altitude must matter because the, the Lakers, all oh, everybody yeah. blaming AD, which he it was does. horrible in the first quarter, but the whole Lakers was. nobody. They were all slow, all not getting back, all trotting. So the altitude had to have something to do with it. Game two shouldn't be that because you've been there for four days now. So I want to see how they look against Jokic in the first I want to see if Denver going to smack them by 20 in the first quarter of the next game. I want to see. I don't think it's going to be that. I think the Lakers will be a little bit more focused defensively. I think AD, embarrassed by his play, will be definitely more focused defensively. I don't see Jokic blowing up like he I – mean, he's not going to have a double-double at the end of the first quarter. I don't see that. I don't that, see was that. Jeez, that was crazy. Jesus. This is, this was, this was, was and crazy. Elder just said it. This is the logic that I was talking about with DeAndre Ayton, where that competitive spirit comes in where – Hold on, man. You just can't just be out here kicking my ass. No, that can't happen. I got to do something. Yeah. Something has to happen. I don't know what, but I got to do something to to at least slow this down. I may walk back to 45% because that book of shot, what, 90% against AD? Yes, <laughs> he it was, was crazy. He was torching. He doubled it. That's what he did. He, he doubled was it. torching AD on that. I mean, he's the book of the real deal. He's the real deal. All right, fellas, oh, I got to I, I got to get through these super chats. Let's go ahead yeah. and make this yeah, I happen. I got to bounce, fellas. I got to go. Salute. All right, Elder, take a light, brother. All right. Can you imagine the things that he would do to Embiid if they met in the finals? Oh, oh. man. You mean PJ Tucker? <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot. I forgot. 13200 said, of these last teams, who matches up best with who? Um, Celtics match up the best with the um the Nuggets. I think the yeah. I think the Celtics are the most talented team left, but uh, yeah, deeper rotation. I, I think the Celtics are winning the title, <clears throat> and I'm not mad at that take either. But I think the Celtics are the most talented. And I'm team not left. ready to have to hear that Jason Tatum is a top three or four player in the NBA. Oh, nobody, should, oh, no, no, nobody <laughs> should say that. Nobody should say that. It's going to happen. Like, that's what happens every every time someone wins a ring. They they automatically the best player. Just say hello. It's gonna happen. You're gonna hear it. He gotta perform though, too, Mars. I don't think when when he when he wins Finals MVP. When he wins finals MVP, it's going to be is Jason Tatum. First of all, it's going to be Luka Doncic. They're going to be like, well, he's better than Luka because Luka missed the playoffs. And then it's going to be, well, he's better than Embiid because he knocked Embiid out of the playoffs. Then it's going to be, well, he's better than Giannis because Giannis lost in the first round. Then it's going to be, well, he's better than Jokic because he beat him in the finals. Or I don't think than... he gets the Giannis and Jokic and I. Other than yeah, other ones, I get well, that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm about to say. The Giannis-Jokic is where we're going to like. And, and, and no, I'm going to disagree, but that's what's yeah, going to happen. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, promise yeah. you. He, he, he's, he's, Mars, said, Mars said the Celtics. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of it the other way. If the Lakers win the NBA championship, I'm telling you right now, Lo, and I know you don't want to hear this, but the Anthony Davis-Giannis conversation is going to start again. It's, it's absolutely going to start oh, again, and it's going to and it's going to get real loud. And you're going to blow your stack. What's really going to happen is the Anthony Davis, Tim Duncan conversation is going to start. I'm telling you that that that's going to start again. I know you, and I know you don't care, chill, but it will be the LeBron and MJ conversations. Oh, that's absolutely going to happen. Here we go. Here it's narratives. No matter what, it's narratives. Any of these four teams win, it's crazy narratives being pushed. Not crazy, except for Jokic, because it won't be crazy. It'll just be factual. See, I mean, but there's people big, that feel the other big. way about all the other four too, Lo. That's just that's just what you. Oh no, no, for sure, like for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> it's it's right. gonna be either way. This is gonna be a great summer of content. Well, We're no, except yeah, that that summer. is that now that is a fact. <laughs> that is a fact. Well, except for Jimmy hey, Butler, because I don't up this. Summer. Oh no, we you before you came up, we were discussing if Jimmy wins, we people are gonna is he gonna be the best oh. player in the world? And people were saying he could be. Ticket. So, not only, not only that, not only that, Mars. What, what else? What else? The ticket say? Look. Oh, um, Dwayne Wade. If he wins, Miami. are they gonna are they gonna love him? Why? Yeah, the narrative is stuck. 
Yeah. And lo, it's going to be a great summer, fam. Yes, sir. The Miami Heat win the NBA championship. Dwayne Wade isn't as good as Jimmy Butler did more than Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade might, Jimmy Butler might be better than Dwayne Wade. He will be better go. than John Stockton, though. Here we go. Fire. Oh, and Kevin right, Durant. And Kevin Durant. Hey, but look, hey, look, oh, just let so you know, just, just so that you know, Lo, I'm getting, I'm getting a head start on this one. I got Miami in six in the Eastern Conference Finals. Mm-hmm. And they don't tell them how much, what, depends. It depends on who wins the, the West before I let y'all know how much I got Miami. But I got Miami winning the whole shit in there. Oh, damn. The Larry O'Brien is going to, going, going to South Port, Beach, Miami. Port, 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 Miami Port, is one man. team. If I had to pick a team I'd want to win the chip, it would be Miami. Parade yeah, on Bish Kenny Boulevard. I'll come out for the parade. Hey, I'm going to see you chill for the parade. I promise you. Hey, we touch Boulevard. you down for that parade shit, Tim. Parade on Bish Kenny Boulevard. The things that Jokic will do to Bam out of Bio, boy. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah, but they got Cody Zeller. So. Stop. Oh, All right, my Mars. God. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Omar Hansen said, D'Lo was food on defense. Taking him out helped. Yeah. D'Lo, D'Lo food against anybody. Anybody. <laughs> Literally anybody. Now, Mayor, now Mayor Jermaine said, "How do you finesse forty? Uh, that's not, no, that's not what Ticket said. AD had a finesse forty. Like it wasn't physically imposing forty points. It was he got forty on floaters and jump shots, and uh, that's what he said. That's what why, finesse. Why does he have to be physically imposing? No, I'm not. I'm, it wasn't I think, really. I think that's, oh, I think that's what he's okay. asking. Okay. Yeah, it's like if Kyrie that's Irving that's has forty, it's a finesse forty. Like that's not a knock. It's, uh, it's finesse. Yeah, but I no, I think that's I think that's what he's asking because the way Ticket said it, I felt like he was kind of saying like, oh, oh no, he was saying the game plan to should be to like get Jokic in foul trouble and go through his chest and blah blah blah. Yeah. But I'm saying a finesse forty is like it's not saying the forty doesn't count. It's yeah. just it was a forty with finesse. That's AD what he also not hanging down low with a big. He's, he's a, yeah, AD's a finesse player. Like, he's a finesse player. He he, he's not okay. Let, let's make sure we clear. You guys know how big I am of an Elijah guy. Elijah Wan was more of a finesse. For, a, a finesse 100%. Fighter. He was so, a okay, finesse player. Let's, let's, let's want to make sure we clear. Okay. But he's not a Elijah. <laughs> not a bad thing. He's not a. Yeah, no, but it's, no, not, it's, not, it's not bad to be a finesse big. Yeah, no. That's the point. That's the point. Okay, 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 okay. You go 48 said Nuggets just played with their food. That's no, they didn't. No, they didn't. No, I think the Lakers just gave him a good game. I That's all. Yes, they, they did. Game. They did. They gave him a great game, especially the first three quarters. Lord Omega Gandhi said, hashtag go Spurs go. Mm, eat it, Mars. Mars. Eat it, Mars. Mars. It was ri- Everyone knows it was Rick. Eat it, man. Mars. Eat it. it Rick, That's the basketball guys, man. They're getting even. That's rigged, just like how the the Knicks rigged it in 1985. It's rigged. I don't want to hear it, Mars. Eat it. Damn. Wimby Yama, the next Tim Duncan. <laughs> they weren't going to send him to somewhere that didn't have, like, an all-time great coach. And Ime Udoka hasn't proven himself yet, so. Pop is trying to retire, too, and they just keep He playing. is. He really is, yo. He's trying to get up out of there. He's trying to be like, nah, come on. Hey, Pop is rejuvenated. Hey, Pop, hey, y'all seen Stella got a groove back? Yeah, you got you got to hang around for another yeah. five more years, Pop. Pop so is gonna be a little longer than that, retire, boy. He's trying. He's trying man. though. Lord Omega Gandhi said, "Lakers, this a- Lakers, this AD that they effing lost." Well, that's yeah, not we we, so we did talk about the Lakers a lot more than we spoke about Denver, which was interesting, but. No, that's not interesting. thing. It's expected, unfortunately. You can't talk about Denver, man. I mean, we talked about Denver. We talked about them. No, we, we did. More. But we just spoke about the Lakers a lot more, which was very interesting. You know, mm-hmm. but we'll, we'll get to the point where we start talking about Denver and that man out there, top five offensive player of all time, man. Jesus said, so Rob Williams is not a lob threat. Mookie dot, 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 clown emoji. I don't know the, I don't know the context of that. I don't know him either. Because he is a lob threat. Big Don Rich said, if AD is so great on defense, why switch to Rui? Because the value you get with AD defensively is not from him being a primary on-ball defender. His value is his ability to protect the rim and room and help and get his hands in the passing lanes, not from his ability to stop post players one-on-one. So he's a great defender, but not for the reasons you're asking him to be a great defender. That's why. Basketball. Mm. <laughs> Doja said if AD was on the Lakers, AI, AI. AI. if AI was on the Lakers, would they have three-peated? No. I doubt it. Kobe was just so much. Kobe was, he just brought so much more to that unit than what AI would have brought. Yep. And plus shacking AI, trying to take practice serious. Yeah, right. You got it. You got it, boy. 
AI was a very underrated poster, by the way. He doesn't get that doesn't get mentioned. Yeah, like, but he, he wouldn't he wouldn't have peaked as a as a playmaker though, in that in a triangle. Oh no, I I I, yeah. I don't think so. But yeah. I I feel like when we talk about AI, people just like focus on the scoring and <coughs> and the intangibles. But like as a passer, he was really good. Like so, I just took a pass. One hundred percent. Hey, is that Maya now, in the chat? Shout out to Maya. All right, y'all. Sexy with the super chat said, "If Jokic wins two rings, is he over Hakeem?" No. 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 TC said Denver in six. Yoke really finna get his respect. Watch. Not until he, he wins. Has... He's not until he wins. He's not... <clears throat> sad, yeah, sad. He has to literally win a championship before people start acknowledging him. And then so... when he does win, people are gonna go overboard and stop going ridiculous. There is no middle ground, is it, Moss? It's either no, yo, he's, he, he, that's he's, why I hate he's about that's why I hate people just don't well, know will, how it, to will just it be, be will it be over will it be overboard if they say top five offensive player or something? There's not, but see, that's the thing, though. Low, Pete cries. Pete cries. No, gonna, I don't think it's overboard, but exactly. well, wait a minute, though. Low, it's not yeah. going to be top five offensive player all time. It's going to be top three center ever. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be stuff like. I that. I mean, yeah, the guy just asked a question about Hakeem if he gets two rings. Like that's where people are ready to go. That, that's if, what it's like, going to be. Because they they can't just judge the game objectively. They need to. Oh, he got two rings. Now he's in the Hakeem conversation. No, he's he's not. Yeah, but, Jokic. Jokic is probably going to peak as like a top five center all time. I think that's about as high as he can probably go. Like, not, like literally Kareem, number five. Kareem, like, Kareem number Shaq, five. Hakeem. Hakeem, and then you, depends how you feel about Will and Bill Russell. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not counting that loser, Will. Yeah, I, I can see. I can see him getting into the top five. Yeah. Yes. Guy Vinci Floresto said, "Chill, listen. I mean, we, we, read, look, we read this one. We, we read did this one. one? Yeah, right. we did this one. <laughs> yeah, we read that one." Jordan Fletcher said, "How many points do you let Jokic score? He had 34 on 83 per- true shooting percentage. It's not going to feel crazy. good." It's not going to feel good when he goes for 50 on 20 shots. Okay, okay. Jordan, nobody is letting him shoot. But you're going to have to surrender to Joker on some level in terms of buckets because he's that good offensively and he's that good as a scorer that you're going to surrender something. You don't, you're not going to let him shoot. That's just he'll, how that he'll, miss a, he'll miss the free next game. But it's not like he's going to make every shot he shoots. No, that's not going to happen. Yeah, the three-point shoot from him last night was – come on now. That's yeah, like – Now, he, that, he, now he, that's he, not normal. He can, he can that, shoot, that, but that's not hit, That's not normal. I mean, yeah. that, that one he hit the, in the third quarter, I'm sure a, a, AD looking at him, I'm looking at him the same way, like, what the hell? And Jokic, and Jokic don't cap. He even said in his post-game interview, I don't practice that. Like, it just, <laughs> it just went in. So, right. like, at least he's not one of those liars. We're like, oh, yeah, I work on that every day. Like, <laughs> no, you don't. No, you do not. Those just said, I mean, swapping Kobe for AI, would the Lakers still have three peated? No, 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 mm-hmm. I don't think so. I, I think because yeah. I think I think people look at it just from the finals, but if you remember in the conference finals in 2000, game seven, you don't win that game without Kobe Bryant. No. 2000, 2002, you don't win that game without Kobe Bryant. Like, there's what about games? I'm sorry, keep going, Moss. There's, there's, um, 2000, 2001 against the King. Okay, 2001, they swept the whole West. I'll give them that. But there's, there's games in they're the West. They're not doing Conference. that, though. They're not doing that. But they're not going to sweep the West of AI. They're not sweeping what, what, about, what about game, game six of the NBA Finals? They're not winning that game without Kobe, mm-hmm. right? You're no, right. They're not. There's, there's plenty of games on the road there right. that you don't win without Kobe Bryant. And pivotal games. Like, game seven against the Blazers is a pivotal game. You don't win that game without Kobe Bryant. Mm-hmm. So, like, it's not... You gotta get that. Uh, we to we gotta move on, but I do want to say, at that moment in time, AI was every bit the score that Kobe was. Now it, it's more. It's more no, to it the wasn't. game than scoring. It's more to the game than scoring. No, but to being able to take over a game offensively, AI was able to do that as well. No, he could not. All right, hey, not we'll, we'll get into this later. Yeah, we don't have Jimmy. To. Jimmy Two Shoe said, "Suns need to follow the Lakers' blueprint. Put defenders slash shooters around Book and KD. No to Harden." And Kyrie, you need a playmaker. Facts. Somebody actually put pressure on the rim, collapse the defense. You need more than yeah, that's get Russell. Right. Get Russell Westbrook. Next, next, next one. Um, uh, <laughs> J- <laughs> JT said Jokic shot seventy percent and a hundred from three. Yeah, yeah, that's not that's not happening. Again. The hundred percent from three isn't happening. The hundred percent unless he goes unless he goes one for one, but like on which is what Anthony but, Davis did. But the seventy percent, that's possible. Very possible. Isn't that crazy that we yeah. think to ourselves that's possible? I mean, he has he the is. best. He has the best touch around the basket that I've I ever mean, seen. He from is top five offensive player all time. So maybe you know that maybe that's not that crazy. No, we get it. Okay, top I don't five. No, 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 no. I don't think y'all get it. I've been trying to tell y'all this since February. You told me Giannis. So this is what you're gonna have to hear. <laughs> 
Did I not get over that? Did I not get over that? I got over it. No, but it was just—it was just bad that you made the argument. And I know there was people in the chat agreeing with you as well. But that's not like they weren't. I was saying like they weren't. The chat is full of capitalists. Man, quiet now. I was selling it. I, I and I actually sold it. I sold it to myself. That was, of course, until I went back and watched joking. I'm thinking, whoa, who are you saying with that? Because no, and then, not and, then, and then I had to hear TikTok say, "Yeah, man, OG just knows way more ball than they do." It's just like, mm -hmm. and I'm like, all right, so y'all, y'all, whatever, y'all just gonna see here and just. Say I don't know everything. There, there are some things I get wrong, and I got that wrong. One hundred percent, I did. I got that wrong. Just and nobody and nobody cuts these parts up where you're wrong, and then yeah, we, we get I, I, I did get that. that wrong. Giannis was Giannis was Giannis is not a better offensive player than Joker. No, he is not. And I did say he was, and I was wrong. No, he isn't. Interesting. <laughs> Isaac Ford said, "Damo sounds just like Low with the voice changer." No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he does not. Young SA9 said he's interested in teams with a competitive roster. Is that James, about Harden? James Harden? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about Doc. Hugh Taylor said, Thunder up, Mars. No, Eat it, Mars. Only, only if James Harden <laughs> goes to Houston, then I'll be an OKC fan. I'm sick of Mars with these. I'm, I'm, I've had it with what you, What do you want from I'm, me? I'm I'm wait, okay, you. So I want I, you to I'm, be consistent, I'm from, Mars. You, and I'm, you, and I'm gonna, you are I'm the from, biggest. I'm from the UK. I have you no affiliation the, to any of these that's organizations. That's what makes it worse, Mars. You are the I biggest have no when it comes to these basketball teams. Can you yeah, because why, 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 why would I feel an affiliation to that? You're in another country. I'm just going to watch the teams that I want to root for. If I want to root for OKC now because Houston did something. Mars, I can't root for Manchester and Liverpool. I can't do that. Well, you're from you're from the US and they're rivals, so that's a bit different. But you're from the US, so if you started supporting Manchester United one year, and then you're like, you know what, Man United, you did made a decision you're, I don't like. You're, Let you're me go support for the Warriors and in Houston, and, and they used to go back and forth in the um used playoffs. to used to like oh, long time brother. ago. That's that's history. <laughs> it's can't not like I switched in 2018. Like I switched can't, when can't wait to run the ball, Mars. I won't do it. Oh, but you, I mean, MX, I'm, I'm still going to switch up whether or not you guys like it or not. I'm, I'm going to switch up. It, it, makes, it, it makes sense to me. I, I never understood people that are fans of a jersey. What? You know what I'm saying? You, well, you, you stay the, you stay the Kings fan. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, if you're from the, if you're from the <laughs> area, <laughs> I get it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We have the right to change teams. It's big I'm all in Let me finish. I'm all in here. This. Cause I'm so I'm I'm a die, I'm a, I'm a diehard Kings fan because I'm from the area I'm from Northern California but I'm a Kings fan we we right there like I'm right. always been but at the same time fish it's like for football I'm not a, I'm not a big football fan like I'm I'm a fan I was a fan of players Peyton Manning mm. Ray Lewis guys like that so when Ray Lewis leaves the the, the Ravens or Peyton Manning leaves the, the the Colts I'm supposed to be a fan of the the uniform or something. I'm not. A, I'm not. I agree. To I'm only on this because of Jalen Green. No, and if James Harden goes there, it's going to be hard. Hey, when, like, when, when, Pey when Peyton Manning, when Peyton Manning left Indi Indiana, I said I'm no longer a Colts fan. I'm a Broncos fan. So you're not a Rockets fan. You're a Jalen Green guy. There's a difference, Mar. Yeah, but I'm root. Yeah, I said if. J I said that like months ago. If Jalen Green, when the Jalen uh, Green yeah, trade rumors happened, I said out, I'm going out. wherever Jalen Green goes. Last, no, no, stop giving me out. Last Green. last year he was rooting for the Warriors. Yes, Curry's yes, still was. there, Clay still there, Draymond's yes, still there, still Jordan there. Poole's still there. Everybody's yes. still there, and now all of a sudden it's uh no, nah, I'm Jalen Green, man. I know. Hey, I was Mar I was Mar a gold, I was a Golden State fan because they were the best team in the NBA when I started watching the NBA. Have you have you ever been to Oakland, San Francisco, Mars? I've never left the country. Okay, so what do you what do you what do you gotta be? You don't gotta be loyal to the to the Warriors, bro. You don't, you, you have no obligation to stay a Warriors fan. I used to you know I used saying? to I used to be a Knicks fan because they were the first team I knew. Cool, that man. makes sense to me. Because because um, well, you, you um just, I'm happy you decided not to stay on that bandwagon. Yeah, now Ju Lowe, Julius Randle's on the team. God forbid. Now Lowe, but, I, like, have a pro I have a no, problem with uh, you. I have a problem with you. Jumping from the Lakers to the Bucks and back. Yeah, to that, the was Lakers in, that was in crazy. That was crazy. Same season. No, 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 no. That was unacceptable. That was no, unacceptable. Stop. stop. That's not uh, what I said. You trying to put you trying to put balls in the corner? Look at this. Look at this. You wrong the whole time. Yeah, facts. And at least I went from the best in the league to the worst. You went from the best in the league to the worst. I said they don't trade Russell Westbrook. They eventually traded Russell Westbrook. No, you said if they don't fire Rob Palika. 
No, because that be, that was when they didn't trade Russ because we lost the opportunity to trade for Kyrie. So if they were not going to oh, trade Lakers Russ, bro, so oh, so that's when fine. But if I say when if James Harden goes to Houston, I'm leaving Houston. It's a problem. No, will you jump in shit? You can say that, and it's fine. If they didn't trade him, will you jump in shit? Oh no, no, yeah. If we if we were here today. If we were here today and they did not make that Westbrook trade, I was not going to be a Laker fan. No. Oh, but when I say if James Harden goes to Houston, I'm not a Houston fan. I'm the bad guy. And you know what that is, Ron? No. You know what that that's, is, Ron? That's, 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 He's that's, toxic. That He's toxic. He's toxic. He's the Instagram model that says, if you don't hey, buy Ron, me a bucket, I'm not spending right. the night. <laughs> Fellas, right, chill. Peace, tomorrow. Peace, peace, peace. Right, I'll see you later. Yeah, for sure. Y'all tap in. Come and leave. You guys are judging. Come So, so low, so low. If so low, if they don't buy you the Birkin, you leaving? That's crazy. That's toxic. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I've been getting beaten, abused from this franchise for the past decade. You cannot <laughs> sit here and tell me what I'm about to take and if what you I'm can, not if taking. You, if you can, if you if can, you can take the Robert Sacre years, if, you can take Russell Westbrook. And that's what I'm saying. I took those years. I took the Xavier Henry years. I took I took the Lamelo and Julius, not Lamelo, Lonzo, Julius Randle years. I took all those years. I refuse to watch a quality <laughs> team get thrown away because of Russell Westbrook. I refuse to do it, bro. Oh, Lord, this is crazy, bro. So, so what you're saying is you, you're going you're gonna to stay in the abused relationship? You're going to stay in the abusive relationship as long as the abuser takes care of your finances? I can't do this, Lo. Yeah, from now on, I'm just going to say I'm a I fan of this, players. Lo. I, 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 I don't support toxic, teams. Bro. There we go. That, that, was, that was, was my last teams. straw. It was my last straw. <laughs> It was my last straw, man. Yeah. And on top of that, Lo, you didn't you didn't just say trade Russ. You said fire Rob Polinka. If he didn't trade Westbrook, if they didn't trade Russ, okay. then you need to fire Rob Polinka. Okay. The Russ hate is crazy. All, all right, right fellas, Rob, you, you almost we, done. We, Ron almost got it. He almost got all of them. Yeah, man. you're nearly there. What you say, gang? With the super chat said, it looks like Portland is trying to trade the number three pick to win now. What That's do you think crazy. would be the best way to go about it? That's crazy. I think that's a. I think that's a good move, man. No, it's not. That is a terrible. I don't move. know what. What did they? Re, what did they get back for Brandon Miller? Like that's what the number. No, I. I. I, 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 sincere, no, I, I, I sincerely. They think might get that scoot, though. They might get scoot. And yes. if scoot is there on the board, there is no three, way Charlotte take Brandon Miller. There's no way. I, they, know, they, might, they might. They might. They might. Um, take Thompson though. And number two. I think they it go just, it just, I think Charlotte. I think Charlotte is that dumb to not put. I think they're going to choose Lamelo over Scoot and pick somebody else. There's no way you draft for fit at number two. Uh, it, it depends on what they can they get. It, the what, it depends on what yeah, they can get back for that pick. Scoot is so far and away the clear so best, far and away. best prospect. So far and away. If, if you don't if take you, him, that's ridiculous. If you're Portland, you just hold on until we get to the draft night. And if Scoot is still available, you turn to Dame and say. Sorry, dog. You're getting traded. Like that's what you think. <laughs> you really you just ask him, yo. Hey, hey it's, it's where it's you want to go. I mean, where I want to go. Yeah, where do you want to go? Yeah, where you want to go? Shade, shade. If you get Scoot Henderson, Scoot Henderson and Shade and Sharp is a great place to start. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, hold on, wait, wait, wait. And, yeah, yeah. and whatever you that's get from um, Dame, that's a great place to start, bro. And you get you can get a pick for Jeremy Grant as well. A contending team. Is he straight for agent? Is he unrestricted though? This year. Oh, oh, John. Yeah, Jim McGrain is restricted. Yes, he is. Not our restricted. He's but look, a free. He's a free. Oh, okay. okay. But what, what, I, what I'm saying, Lo, uh, somebody got to go. So what I'm saying is it's not a bad move to me to be looking to trade somebody right now. Damn, you're out of here or that number three is out of here. One of them got to go. If Scoot is Yo, a fellas. Uh, yeah, speak, speaking, of, speaking of having to go, y'all can continue to talk. Bob, you just got to read the Super Chats. Mm. I, I would do it, but I, 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 I gotta go. I can, I can. Only, I can hey, only reason, only reason I'm still here is because Chill left, and I didn't want to leave y'all with three. I oh my god, everyone's gonna go. Okay, sorry, I sorry to the man. Mars, 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 you got the super chats. L hosted the chat. What with two people? You want me to just read the super chats? Why we can do it? Do it. Y'all the two biggest personalities. They don't need me up here. All they gonna do is L hosted the chat. L hosted the chat. L hosted L -holes, L -holes. All right, so I gotta go too, though, for real. All right, we might as well start up a low nose. <laughs> what is this? I'm actually reading the super chats. Do you want me to yeah, chat? Do you, you want are. me to read the super chats? Okay, read boom. the super chats. Man. Um, Alan R. A. Why R. G. Low is here? Hey, yes, he is. I am um, here. Robert Jamal Murray had a cold and an ear infection, which is why he looked dead tired all game. No, that's not why. No, you got it. It's because he was getting posted up by LeBron James all night. Um, RH Free LA. The Lakers roster is young. The future is bright. Okay. I don't know if it's young. But uh, shout out to Max Christie. 
Um, Hugh Taylor, I'm from Scotland, but I'm staying loyal to OKC. You're a better man than me, Hugh Taylor. Um, so many good teams in the NBA. How do you think Yoke could do against Hakeem or Duncan? Who cares? Why do y'all care? Why do y'all care? If, but if anything, those are probably the best two defenders in league history, but to defend him, but you know, he don't um, have to defend. D Bukayo Saka, same. I'm from the UK and I only rep Phoenix because of Book. Oh um, man, it was a sad player to root for, but it's fine. Um, oh. X Zero, cough, cough, Wilt not top 10 all time or a top five center all time. He's been on fraud watch like Stockton. Mm. Big fraud, even you have him as a top five center, though, right? Uh, fifth, but he is a yeah, big fraud. Cool. Big fraud, big fraud, big fraud. I mean, fraud, yeah, I'm, I moved him out my top 10 a while ago, too. Thank goodness, man. Um, And the last Super Chat Greatest, I effing knew it. I called it months ago. Mars equals Knicks fan. Yeah, I was I was a Knicks fan. That was the first team I knew in the NBA. Um, because How did of, you know them? Um, Because in the show Friends, they were in New York, and they went to Knicks games. You used to watch Friends growing up? It was, I didn't have control of the TV. My family watched Friends, and I was there, and they were the team that I knew of. So they you were, were in New York. wait. But Friends is a 90s show. Mm-hmm. So they were watching Latrell Sprewell Knicks. Oh, man, Mars. That's what you get. That's the first team I knew. That was the first oh, team I knew. Oh, man. So no. when, when, I, when I was a little infant, the first team I knew in the NBA was the Knicks. So when anyone asked me, like, if I was, <laughs> as time went on, if I supported the NBA team, I just said the Knicks. But then Julius Randle went to the team. So You didn't stop being a fan because of Melo? Melo would have made me stop being a fan. I mean, I didn't start watching the NBA until Kevin Durant went to um golden state anyway so Melo, Melo was, was there yeah Melo, that was his last year and that was his first when kd went to um golden state that was Melo's first year and that was his last year no, in no, new no, york. It was last year in new york yeah, yeah that was his last year in new york i was like hmm. I, nah I you should have known better man I was, was not it, man. so now so now we're hating now we're hating on Melo. um but now with our super chats um i can end the show so um goodbye everyone we'll see you wow. guys tomorrow what do you mean wow 